Uh, let me add myself to the stream here, man. We are live. We are live after show therapy show. A little uh, therapy session tonight, man. What an emotional, emotional journey on tonight's episode, y'all. And we are here to discuss it all. Ooh we, I'm um heartbroken right now. We're gonna talk about it, y'all. What's, what's going on to everyone? Shout out to everyone that joined tonight's watch along, which we did uh, less than what 15 minutes ago. Uh, you know, we 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 laughed, we cried, we we questioned some decisions. Our heads might have been off our shoulders, if you know what I mean. Um, what a fantastic episode, man. We're gonna we're gonna break it all down tonight. Before we do so, man, do your boy a favor. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, um, leave your thoughts in the live chat. Um, again, we're here to talk about it all, pros, cons, and everything in between, sharing our emotions, our theories, and everything that we have to say about this uh, this fantastic episode. Shout out to Patty, number one. Uh, we'll talk about him and his performance and those prosthetics. Oh, my goodness. Um, Renera and Allison seeming to be buddy-buddy. We'll see how much longer that lasts. Raymond. You, you ran your mouth too much, brother. Um, we'll talk about that. And 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 Amen. Who we and Aegon, what a terrible, despicable mother. You know what that man is. But we're gonna get into it tonight, y'all. You know how we do it. We're gonna be sharing the link here. Let me copy the link for y'all so you can join me to discuss this emotional, fantastic, well written, well acted episode of House of the Dragon. So let me go ahead and get the link going. So you guys can join me. Uh, again, shout out to y'all. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I am definitely having a great Sunday myself this morning or this afternoon. We went live to talk about Atlanta, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Had a great discussion with Tyra and, and Nine and um, Brandon joined us. And, and I appreciate you all joining me a little bit earlier today. And then shout out to every single one of you all that watched today's watch along. And here we are again. Here we are again talking about this fantastic episode. So I am grabbing that link. And like I said, man, y'all know how it goes. Click the link in the description so you can join us to talk about this episode. Um, let me put the comments in here one second. All right, so if you click that link there, you can join me to share your thoughts on this very, very, very whew, emotional episode. Let me, hold on one second, guys. Let me get this chair situated. All right, all right, we are back, we are back. So again, guys, the link, it should be in the chat. Let me, uh... Yeah, it's good. So like I said, anyone, um, we might see some familiar faces. We might see, see some new faces. But again, this is a live after show with live comments where you can share your thoughts and opinions and everything in between. And we got some people joining me that I'm going to bring in here in a second. But again, do your boy a favor. This is uh, my favorite day of the week. And I love interacting with you all. So thumbs up, share, leave your thoughts in the comments. And of course, uh, support these content creators I'm going to bring in here on the stream. With that being said, uh, let me bring them in and also show some acknowledgements to everyone in the chat, showing some love. Uh, shout out to everyone. Johnny, what's up, man? Hopefully we can see. I see my man, Eric, here. We're going to bring in here in a second. All right, man, let's, let's get uh, let's get our guest in here. First and foremost, Eric, man. Hey. Good night, man. How we doing? Oh, man. Uh, very good, but yeah, quite, quite emotional. Um, yeah, man. I, I definitely, I won't be... Uh... I won't be writing off this death as much as I did <laughs> a certain one that you guys kind of got on my case about. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eric, it is always a pleasure to see you, my man. Uh, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, the King definitely had some moments. Um, those children of, of Allison, man, they are some, some, something else, man. But Eric, before we get our next guest in here, why don't you just introduce yourself to the people and let them know who you are. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, Eric Thorpe, and uh, you can find me at uh, Eric Thorpe Reviews on YouTube and also on Instagram, and uh, or you can just also find me at Eric Thorpe on Letterbox as well. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir, man. Just randomly, Eric, cause like I said, I haven't seen in a couple weeks, man. How you been, man? Any any new movies or shows you've been watching besides this incredible show? Did you get a chance to see a uh, Hellraiser or She Hulk episode eight? Any of that new stuff? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did see She Hulk, and uh, I remember I went on. That was like the first time I think I went on one of your live was for the yeah, first She one. Hulk after show, mm -hmm. and then and then I, I realized see. I didn't have that much to say about She Hulk and more so just about <laughs> Game of Thrones. So I thought, okay, I better yeah. stay those ones. 
but um gotcha. yeah i think i think the first one and this newest one though were like the only kind of episodes i thought were decent personally of she hulk gotcha gotcha um, yeah it's been a bit of a rough pass but yeah any anything with daredevil you know definitely gonna liven up the party for sure yeah but um yeah and last week's uh, i feel bad i missed last week's stream out Oh, no worries, man. Really, I had to go to bed last week, but uh, no worries. It was a pretty incredible episode, also. <sighs> yeah, no, uh, hey, uh, I lost an eye in game, game and dragon, man. Put that on a t shirt, man. Put that on a t shirt, but y'all check out my man Eric. I will be leaving his information in the description once this video is finally uploaded. But we got another one of the homies in the back room returning, showing, uh, showing up and and uh, letting us know what he thought about this episode. My man G, what's going on, man? Yo, what's happening? What's yeah. happening? Hey man, this episode, man, it had me uh had me on my emotional side. Gee, it was I the only one man that you get a little emotional there for uh, King Viserys. I I did, but not like in a way of like uh like his like speech. a Ned Stark or something. And, yeah, it yeah. wasn't like it didn't it didn't cut me deep, but yeah. I, I was like, okay, yeah, like all right, you got me, you know, like I I'm feeling bad now. Because we was we've been talking trash about him since day one. Deservedly so. He's been making some weird, you know, some bad decisions here and there. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But I, I, I still, I still just like, dang, it's rough. He, he it's went rough. out with his family together, though, right? He could, yeah, he got yeah. to see his family together one last time, even if it was a little phony at times, right? Yeah. Uh, but G man, before we get into the, today's discussion, man, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the people? What's good, y'all? My name is G or Donato Reviews. Um, I review movies, TV shows, and anime on YouTube. And I also got a podcast uh, where me and my one of my best friends talk about whatever movie and uh, TV or anime, you know, is out there. And uh, we usually have some differing opinions. Sometimes we might, you know what I'm saying, be on the same page like with She-Hulk, but most of the time, most of the time, it's, it's, it's it gets lively in there. So that's that's pretty much it. Nice man. Any uh, you know, same question for Eric that I had. Did any any new stuff you've been checking out, man? Did you uh, get a chance to check out Werewolf by Night? No, nah, I ain't get it. I ain't get it yet. I ain't get it yet. Oh, I, I, I'm I'm working my way through yeah, the spooky man. stuff. You know, I gotta yeah. feel good. I I, I mean, <laughs> this is not my month. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This is not that's my month. Time of the year. But <laughs> I man, did probably. see Amsterdam. I did see Amsterdam on Ooh, uh, I was Friday. Like, I, I love, I loved it. I loved it. <gasps> okay, it was great. the first positive great. review I've heard of the film. I'm yeah. planning to see it tomorrow. So yeah, it's good nice. to hear you liked it. Nice, yeah. nice. I love. Man. I mean, yeah, the actors. <laughs> That's cast is crazy. Cast, yeah, yeah, cast yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on it, man. But more importantly, excited to hear your thoughts on tonight's episode, man. But before we get into the discussion, too, we got another one of the returnees, uh, uh, a friend of the channel, and and a great insight on the show. Our man Johnny is making a return, man. Johnny, how we doing? Hey, hey. good to be back. Yes, sir, Johnny, what man. It? This was a, a roller coaster of an episode, man. I la I laughed. I cried. I yeah. Uh, wrung my hands. I mean, it was yep. it was crazy. The whole gamma of emotions, man. The whole gamma, yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Hey, man, do me a favor, Johnny. Why don't you, uh, if, if this is the first time people are seeing you, man, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, Johnny Pappas. Uh, I'm a, a screenwriter and filmmaker in San Diego. Um, I've got some of my short films on my website. And I am starting, uh, I'm going to be starting my YouTube channel, uh, uh, Quantum Entangled, which is going to be kind of a look at uh, uh, fandom and, uh, and, uh, uh, shows like this and uh, superhero stuff and uh, sci-fi fantasy. Nice. One more time, Johnny. What was the name of the channel? What was the name of it, man? Quantum Entangled. Quantum Entangled. Any, any, uh, um, what's the, what's, what's the, what's, what's behind that, man? I love that title. Just, uh, just how everything is just all related and all like everything's like, you know, to everything is, uh, is, um, uh, in the universe is strung together in yeah. a quantum stream. I love I it. Yeah. I love it, man. I look forward to seeing because uh, obviously you 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 you, get, you come here every week dropping some great nuggets of of knowledge of, of various different topics that we cover, man. So I'm excited to see what you got for the people on your channel, man. I'm looking forward to that, Johnny. Thanks. Um, and and I did see a, a werewolf uh, at uh... <sighs> Johnny. Oh, I, oh my tell God, him, I love... tell him, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, Johnny. El Elsa Bloodstone is like my favorite heroine MVP. Uh, in, in Marvel now. MVP. I want. I, need I, I want more. I want more Elsa Bloodstone. Yep. Well, same was, here, Johnny. Um, um, it harkened back to growing up. Uh, I grew up in New England, and um, the one of the VHF channels used to have um, Creature Double Feature. Mm. 
and they would have American, um, World, War, American World from London vibes or some they would have more vibes. of the of the older shows. Yeah. Some of it was also um uh you know uh, uh King Kong and Godzilla and Mighty gotcha. Joe Young and some of those ones. But they had yeah, yeah. some of the old horror and this was done so well mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. with all the 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 the, the uh, cinematography, the music, everything was done so well with that. Um I really recommend that everybody take a look at it. Yeah. Um, you might not have the same nostalgia that I do, but look at it and you'll see <clears throat> everything that um that they did with it, including the little um burn marks on the film uh, yeah. that, that tell the yeah. uh, that tell the uh the the uh projectionists when they need to change yep. reels. Change re- yeah man it, it was like you that said was uh, amazing such a callback to the old school filmmaking. It was it's a great film mm-hmm. guys if you're into even even if you're not a horror fan it's still just a great piece of art um to say the least uh mac i see you in the chat mac uh, i, I want to uh, if you can join us mac i would love to get your thoughts on the on the king so if you get if you get a chance tonight, <laughs> mac, we would love to see you we would love and to see you and it's only an hour long too that uh yeah where we'll, yep. so, you know quick quick watch yep i agree i agree definitely recommend it guys um listen guys gentlemen and everyone in the chat let's talk about it eric man just your general opinion after finishing this episode less than 20 minutes ago man how are you feeling what, what where's this episode working with you man was it was it one of the most emotional episodes of the season did it not work show your thoughts oh, i mean every episode of this show works for me but um yeah i'd say this is probably probably my favorite one it's it's like close between the last weeks but i kind of like i just it out just because i like that they kind of aged up some of the child actors so they were a bit better i found but um yeah Emotions, right? Emotions through this episode, Eric. Nope, did he freeze on us? I think so. We'll get Eric situated. G, same question for you, man. Just initial thoughts on this episode, my friend. It was, it was a, it was a nice uh, way to like not calm the nerves, but like after yeah. the last episode of just like craziness, it was a, it was a, a fun way to like you know get things back going again, you know, because they had a kind, it was like kind of like a reset type of thing. So it yeah, wasn't the time as, jump, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as like everything happened all at once. It was more right. so like a, another build up. So I yep. enjoyed it for sure. Johnny, same question for you, man. Emotionally speaking, uh performance wise, how did you feel about this episode after finishing it, man? Uh emotional, uh, like I like I said that in my opening, it was I, I it put me through the ringer. Yeah. Um I felt it was one of the I, I it's almost like I hate to keep saying this, but like these episodes keep getting better and better. And it's like, okay, yeah. like, um, and then it sounds like I'm just kind of like a shill for, for HBO <laughs> Max here. <laughs> Cause I did, I did really get excited when I saw the white Lotus intro also, but oh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the season um, one. Yeah, I'm looking forward white to this. Lotus, new I, I, I love that show too, but yeah. um, sounds like I'm a shill. Like they're not, you know, they're not paying me anything and they're not, you know, but um, uh, I just, uh, it just keeps getting better and better. And um, yeah, and now um the uh it seemed like the adults or the the older adults because everybody's an adult now it seems like they're all yeah. they're all adults now Pretty the much. older adults want to let it go but the the younger the generation don't. yeah holding and, the grudge uh, and that oh. is, yeah <laughs> yep that's bad apple doesn't fall too far and, from the uh, tree you know Egan and Amon yeah. are, are, are are nasty <sighs> nasty Man. uncles Man, I mess you know, with Eamon. I'm about to say, I was literally about to say that. G. I, I, I don't blame Eamon for, for yeah. what happened to him last week. I can understand where his animosity and hatred towards his nephews come from. Aegon's just a creep, weirdo. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into his the opening sequence. But Eric, going back to you, man, I know you cut off there. Just did you have any more to add about your uh, your thoughts on the, on the episode overall? Um, yeah, I think I echo a lot of what Johnny was saying. Yeah, um, yet again, I'm sort of just pretty much saying i think it's my favorite one again even though last week's was amazing just this one just like hit me in the feels even more and yeah i don't i don't know if i would say uh i don't know i think Amon might might be even creepier than i mean Aegon's just I mean, <laughs> they're both they're both terrible but, yeah um yeah i mean if that wasn't clear even when they were younger now it's like very very clear yeah um yeah, I mean, no, I, I th- yeah, this is my favorite one. I think this is the one that makes uh, like, kind of clear that I think Constantine like needs needs to win an Emmy. One hundred percent. 
one thousand percent. Uh, and we'll get into his performance here. Um, and and before we even get there, I mean, it it just seems like none of these families have it have their um their alliances together, man. We we open mm-hmm. this episode, uh, Johnny, with the situation at uh draft driftmark. And I'll say it right now. We we've been talking about it all season. The the time jumps have worked for the most part. I don't think there's another show that might have been able to pull this off as well as they have. But it does still get me a little frustrated when we have a moment like this where we open the episode, finding out that Corliss has been injured during the uh, the, the battle. He's he's like literally on the brink of death uh, from what from what they're saying. I'm not saying we had to see the battle, Johnny uh, and crew, but I, I feel like, come on, man, are you going to kill him off screen? I mean, of course, we have many yeah. episodes explored this, but I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like that moment. But besides my thoughts, Johnny, what did you think about this opening moment? Did you feel like Damon had some good things to say? Do you are you do you side with Rainice? How do you feel about this opening, man? Um, I, I, well, Rainice said, you know, Rainice um, definitely had some, you know, um, uh, things to say, and in her. And uh, she wants to do what's right for her family, and everybody knows the, the you know there's no there's no secret that uh, there's no secret that um, these kids are not um, you know pure born uh, yeah. Valerians, and uh, they they want you know and um, so uh, she has to kind of walk the tightrope between her brother, um, uh, or I mean her cousin and um, and the uh, and um, her uh, brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's um, it's a precarious situation, and yeah. um, with um, with you know it's uh, so and you know I think she she want she wanted for herself too. So uh, that that didn't become clear until a little a little bit later. But um, yeah, it's um, it was a tough situation to to open up into. Very tough. And there's, uh, you know, we talked about Eamon jokingly understanding where his hate comes from. Listen, uh, we'll talk about what happens to this guy losing his head literally a little bit later <laughs> in the episode, Eric. But he ha- he's speaking the truth, man. We all know the Facts. truth, right? We know the, the Strongs. Those are the Strongs boys. The the leg, the, the family tree has been, uh, you know, in, in, interfered with. It with branched decisions. off. It <laughs> literally, literally. So, I mean, he, he has some validity in what he's saying. It's just, I guess, the yeah. way he went about it. It is a very political way to go about things, and he went about it leading with his head, which ends up on – you know, off his shoulders later in the episode, Eric. But I mean, honestly, man, he had some. He had a lot of truth in what he was saying, Eric. Yeah, man. This the scene was like. I mean, yeah, this was probably the best scene of the episode. I'd say. I mean, the dinner scene was great too, but uh, yeah, just like the tension was just. It was just too much in this one. I, like, I don't know if they might have like topped possibly that scene last week. I don't know. Like, I was just waiting for like, oh my god, what the hell is gonna happen? <laughs> like, because again, I always say this, but like, because. So I've read the book, but it's really just a history. So there's a right, lot to fill right. in, right? So right. I don't really know what's going to happen down to like the scene necessarily. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was just I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but as soon as as soon as he said it, as soon as he said the B word, you know, uh, mm. it's going Ooh. down. David yeah. says, "Say, it. do we'll, it." We'll, we'll get to that, man, because I definitely have some thoughts about I'm, that scene. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, I'm just wondering now, like, <clears throat> um, not that. I want to say whether we're going to see Corliss again or not, but if we do, I'm wondering now, like, kind of how he's going to be towards Damon because he was kind of one of Damon's supporters. Good point, Mister Eric. Yeah, but, but now he just—I uh, mean, Kill I don't know. To be fair, I mean, maybe he'll understand the circumstances because his mm. brother was doing something he really would not have wanted him to do because his brother was supportive. I mean, Corliss was supportive. Was of, supportive of his of his grandkids. Yeah, grand sires. Uh, so it's yeah. hard to say uh, how how he'll respond when he finds out what Damon did. Ooh. If, if he survives. If he survives, yeah. I like that. I like how you played that, Eric. Well done. Well done. Uh, <laughs> G, tossing it to you, man. This scene, this opening, you can see both sides of the coin, which makes great television. Um, mm-hmm. But did you lean one way more than the other, man? And by the way, Rainey's in the throne looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, it looks I, it I fits it really well. I definitely agree. Um, this opening scene, I was upset that we didn't get to see. Like, if he was going to die, like, yeah. I, I was still mad that, like, they do things like that. Because, like, yeah. I don't know what they say. It was, like, four years or something like that. Six. Like, four years. Yeah, six, six years since the last time. Yeah, since last week's yeah. episode. So, like, just, you know, sharp cut. Like, just put it in the beginning. Like, oh, this is this happened to him. Now, cut 
five minutes. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like we should have saw something. Yeah. But as far as like their discussion, um, I I'm kind of balanced because I I understand you know the the uncle's plight. Uh, as far as just, you know, always feeling like the second son, anytime he spoke for like, not necessarily the family, but for like in the best interest of the family, mm-hmm. when it came to, when it came to like Rhaenyra's kids and, and the whole situation and um, King's Landing and stuff like that, like Corliss always pressed him. Like he always yeah. put him back in place, yep. you know, and this was like his time to like really, you know, if you're going to take it, take, take the ball. The time, his opportunity. Yeah. And and neither this scene or the, or the the scene later on in the episode he did he come with any show of real force like anybody backing him besides his actual like bloodline. So I'm sitting here thinking like yo like if if you want to like you know actually do this like at least have somebody have like, yeah having your back have a heavyweight you know? on your corner yeah yep yeah because he 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 got snuck at the end of the day so <laughs> it's it's his own fault kind of you know but. Yeah. As far as the queen, it never was. Um, I, I feel like she surprised me this episode a little bit just because of like how she took she took things from like a very I don't know what the word it would be, but it was just like a level headed, like as level headed as you could very be. Very level headed, yeah. You Considering know? that she thinks that you know the person she spoke to in this episode killed her son, she was very right. even killed. Right, and that that surprised me for sure. And I was like, she knows the was, game, man. She knows how to play the game. I thought for sure she, this was going to be her time. Like I was mm. like, yo, she's going to be the next person on the throne, and she's just they're just going to have to dictate it through there. I, I'm thinking like just straight up war is going to come. That's what I was thinking, you know. But um, as far as that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I got for that scene. Johnny and Eric, you guys have anything to add on to um, as far as because I totally agree with G as far as the level headedness from Rainey's was first off, she, she's been through the rim and row, right? She's done with the whole been on the throne, not on the throne. She knows the politics involved. So but so she knows how to put her emotions aside. She just lost her daughter. She thought she lost her son and she still, still thinks that her family has been divided. Her husband might be on the last uh, his last breath, but she was very even killed. Johnny, uh, starting with you, man, how, what, what do you think about that? Where does that re- resilience come from for Renice? And how did and, and you feel like it's going to be something that's going to continue to go through the show? It comes from being, th- being through it and being, yeah. having, um, you know, having, having it happen to you and um, right. living, living through it and yep. dealing with it. And yep. as she, as she expressed in the last episode, um, she is, she has made peace with the fact that she doesn't have the throne anymore. So she knows right. how to play. She knows how to play the game. The mm-hmm. game, you know, as we call it, the Game of Thrones. Exactly. She knows how to play that game and how to distance herself and her own emotions from it um, in order to um, to best to do what's best for her and her family. Yeah. Eric, man, any thoughts on that, on, on Rhaenys and her political decisions and the way she carries herself in this episode? Um, yeah, it was definitely a little kind of unsure when she was called up, sort of where she was going to lean. But, uh, yeah, I just I think. I don't know, my thoughts on it were more just like, okay, I think Rhaenyra played the game really well here by by making that offer to her, and that, yep. or else that probably would have gone very differently. Right. Um, yeah, so I guess she's just thinking, I think she is. she's thinking about the preservation of her house, and Rhaenyra did kind of give her the opportunity to have one of uh, her her grandchildren as, as queen, so. Yep. Yeah, so I, uh, yeah, I think they're both both doing a good job at looking out for their kids, basically. Yeah, that's all. But this show is about it's about your legacy and your kids and, and keeping your preserving your legacy. And then, and both of these women, like you guys mentioned, Rainice and Renera, did a fantastic fantastic job of doing so in this episode. Uh, but a question I have for for the the panel, and I want to get it from you first, uh, Eric, and just tossing it back to you. This was a scene that was kind of short, kind of happened, kind of came and went, but definitely holds some some weight. Um, and a lot of power. I'm talking about these eggs, man. We got three new eggs from um, was it was this uh, these dragons' names? I keep forgetting. Was it Cyrax? Was it yeah, Renera's dragon? I think it was okay. Renera's. Yeah, yeah Renera's. That's dragon. her dragon, right? Okay. Yeah. Eric, man. Again, I know you have a little bit of book knowledge, and uh, and you do a great job. Again, man, you should be a politician. You know how to keep things, <laughs> uh, you know, hidden, man. Um, what can we? Uh, what are we thinking? These these eggs are going to have any any play moving forward? We know that fifty. 
maybe even higher percent of the time, the eggs never crack, never hatch. But what, what do you think? This is going to play into something in the future, uh, Eric, as far as these three eggs? Yeah, I think they're definitely going to play into the future with, uh, let's say, at least some of okay. Rainier's kids. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, last time, if I remember, um, Damon's daughter, I can't think of her name right now. She, I don't know if she, because she was supposed to get Vega. I don't know if she's claimed a, a dragon quite yet. Um, Luke and Bailey Jace. And something else. But yeah, I, I believe else. both of them have dragons. But we, mm. as, as we find out in this episode, she has two other children and another one on the way. Yeah. Uh, that was so crazy. plenty <laughs> of kids in these last six years. Uh, Johnny, man, your thoughts on these eggs and do you think they'll play into the, the rest of the show? Oh, yeah. I think they're going to play into it because now we have. Um, we have baby Aegon. The, 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 the yeah, new, baby Aegon. So baby, Aegon, baby Aegon needs a dragon. Um, uh, Ray, uh, uh, Bela needs a dragon. Yep. Ray, Reyna already has a dragon. Yep. And um, what, what was it with this conversation? It was Reyna, Renice, and Rhaenyra all man, talking these, to these, each other. And I'm like, these names, come, on. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> come on with the yeah. names, man. We need You're to come up kidding. with some other names. Can we get yeah. like a John? Uh, I mean, there's know, another like, Viserys too. Yeah, and then we, so, and, and we have gracious. an Aemon, an Aemon and, and we had a Aemon right. until he lost his head, you know. So, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, um, we've got George some, R. R. Martin, man, original <laughs> names, man. They're going to get some more kids, uh, so maybe uh, um, you know, uh, Renair is going to have another. You know, she'll have another two kids, maybe, and we'll have three, three more dragons. Man, Jesus, man, she, she's a, uh, she's, she's. She's, she's good at that. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's, strong. she's She's good. Gee, we got a guest that we bring in here in a little bit. I forgot about Joffrey. Joffrey. Yeah, I mean, who else? Everyone needs a dragon. I feel like Oprah at this point. Um, <laughs> gee, these dragon eggs, man. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I I was excited to see that there was more than one. I, I don't know how many you usually get, but this is, I feel like this is the first time we've seen somebody actually like get a dragon egg out of the nest. Cause I yeah. didn't know what it was yeah, at I first. Thought, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, we got we got to see that, and then as far as like that's just more power on their side if, if right. they grow Gonna up in it. time. Gonna you need know? it. Yeah. So I don't know if everybody else's dragons having babies, but you know, Rhaenyra's is. So that's that's good for them. I mean, I think it's yeah. I think it was very cool to see Damon was the one to go get it though. Yes, he had. He slowly but surely he's coming up with like these he's small go. quiet moments, but <laughs> yeah. he has some of the best quiet moments of this show. Right, right. For sure. So, um, I thought that was cool, and it's just it's just seeing his excitement for him as well. Um, you know, we don't get to see Damon smile like a lot for good reasons, right? You know, <laughs> right. so <laughs> that was that was a cool Smarker. thing to see. But yeah. yeah, I definitely think that was a cool. Um, I was about to say Easter egg. That's corny, but you know that was that was something cool <laughs> to see as well. Well said, man. And like I said, we got a guest in the back room who I called and hoped that she would hear the call and, and join <laughs> us tonight. And she has. And uh, this is one of the biggest King supporters that I know. And um, I, I mourn for her because she lost her 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 King um, Mac. What's going on, Mac? How we doing tonight? How we doing? Do not mourn for me. I my King went out. <sighs> just, I mean. If you yeah. guys ever had any doubt about the king, I'm yeah. telling you guys, this was his episode. <laughs> this was his episode, yeah. Mac. This was his episode. This is it. I yeah. don't mind. I mean, we knew he was on his last leg. He's been on his last <laughs> leg for <Right>. seven episodes. <laughs> so yeah. the fact that he died, we knew it was coming. Mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. didn't even have half a face, guys. We can let him. Oh go. my! We can let him. I didn't think it was going to hurt. Two face, Harvey <laughs> Dent. Oh my goodness! Yes, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to hurt. Uh, it did though. It did. I, I, I get it. You know, I understand. Yeah. I understand. But this, you guys, this was my episode. This was my episode. Damon and Gross. the King shined in this episode. This is my episode. Um, you guys already know. We're going to get to that emotional moment. I, I, I was live. I don't know if y'all, you know, uh, had a chance. I was, I got teary eyed in the moment that we were talking about here because I, I think about the last time the two brothers saw each other in that room in particularly. But Mac, right. before we get into tonight's, uh, your thoughts on this episode, why don't you introduce yourself to the people at home? Hey guys, I am Matt Cox. I am a creative that crafts, and I guess I, I guess the best way to put it is I express my fandom through my craft. So come on over. Everything is M A Couture Crafting. All of my social media, and I would be glad to have you. 
Yes, yes, guys. Again, by the time this video is completely uploaded, uh, Max, Johnny's, G's, and Eric's information will be found in the description. Before we move on, Mac, you know, I asked my guests uh, earlier about what they've been watching and whatnot. Mac, I know uh, Marvel is your bag. Uh, did you get a chance to check out <laughs> Werewolf by Night by chance? I, Mac? Elliot, let me tell you how much I'm here for you because I was gonna, I was trying to see him at Disneyland. He's at Disneyland right now, walking I around. Saw, I saw, and yeah. I was like. To be with Elliot or to go yeah. see this man? And I was like, oh, I guess I'm going <laughs> to hang out with Elliot tonight. Um, I still haven't seen it. It's on my list of things to watch probably tonight. And She-Hulk, I know people talk about She-Hulk bad. Sometimes Ooh, you yeah. talk about She-Hulk bad. But yeah. this episode, everybody enjoyed. I actually yeah. really enjoy She-Hulk. It's yeah. made for me. You know what I mean? Like, it's mm -hmm. not for everybody. I can clearly yeah. tell that it's very different than most of the Marvel stuff. But mm -hmm. we're always saying, well, who is the who is it made for? It's me. I'm that client because I've been loving it. Um, I refuse to go with the Hulk show so you can run it low. I refuse to. I was like, no. <laughs> oh. Well said. I'm, I'm excited. Let me know, Mac, too, when you see World One. I'm very curious. Your I will. I'm going to tag you in the video because I, I definitely yes. want to catch yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but just jump right into the conversation, Mac. Just kind of catch you up with what we were just talking about. We talked a little bit about the um, Vayman and um, uh, Rainice, and now we're talking about these eggs. Uh, you know, before we get your thoughts on that, just general opinion on this episode. This was a good episode. Yeah. This is is probably I know every week we say this is our favorite. We do it every <laughs> it's week. Good TV. That's that's a, it good is. signs for a good television show. It yeah. is, but I'd say that this is probably in my top three for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm yes, not gonna I... say it's my favorite, but it's it's it could be if I kind of stopped and thought about it. This yeah. is a this was a good one. I am pleased because I was kind of wondering where are they going now. You know, I wasn't right. exactly excited for this. I don't know why mm -hmm. this particular mm -hmm. episode. I was kind of like whatever. But once I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, this this right here, my king shined, you know? Yeah, he did. Gold mask and everything. He did. I was say, literally, he did shine with that mask on. Yeah, he certainly did. He had like certainly a half, half of a mask of a harpy on. Yep. Man. Yep. Yeah. He came through. Good stuff. Um, dripped out. Yeah. Uh, and and then, like I said, before we move on, Matt, just your thoughts on this, this civil war between the uh, Valerian household and what you think of these three eggs. Oh, I was glad. I was also glad to see that Damon was the one to go get it. I was like, so nobody can go down there and crawl between the... Did you see him like crawling between the... <laughs> yeah, he's, like, oh, yeah, he's, Damon is that dude, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Damon I is Spider-Man. He's on his Uncharted guy. game. Mm. And I was like, but to get down is one thing, but to get back up is a whole nother. And he true, had his right, little true. tools and everything. I was like, Damon is that dude. And Free he comes climbing, up with too. Three. Yeah, he was. And I was like, oh, he did that. <laughs> Um, yeah. He came up all dirty. I was like, oh, that's right, Damon. Yeah. Um, happy to see three eggs. I hope they all hatch because we need all the power that we can get because they got that crazy, they got crazy people and big Ooh. dragons. Crazy. You know, that's a, that's a recipe for, yeah. for a problem. They're going to cause right. a problem. So oh, yeah. I was, I hope that those three, he needs three though. He's got those three kids. And you know, mm -hmm. something that me and Tasha, rich girl who's on here talk about is I can't figure out how the king's son just didn't have a dragon. You know, he should have just been given a dragon off top. It's a trip how they put them in these, in the bassinet and it has to hatch with you and all that. Like, no, just oh, give him, yeah. they should have mm -hmm. just given him a I don't, I don't, I struggle with the king's son not having a dragon. Like what? Are like you saying like, like as soon as a dragon hatch, whoever yeah. next. Gets yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. up. If it's yeah. for the king, you know, everybody yeah. else can go through that other stuff, but right. that's why the boy crazy now. Cause he didn't have a dragon. <laughs> crazy. That's, that's, crazy. That's why crazy. right now. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, and before we move on, we got another special guest uh, who's joined me on Marvel discussions, but it's his first time joining us in a House of the Dragon discussion. I uh, got my man Justin joining us for the first time talking House of the Dragons. Justin, how are you Yo. doing today, my man? Hey, man. How you doing? Hi, guys. How are you, everybody? Chilling, chilling. Hey. Good. Good to see you, man. How you doing tonight, Justin? I'm doing great, man. This is uh, great to do this with you finally. Uh, you guys hey, convinced man. me to watch House of the Dragon. Nice. <laughs> back, but watching nice. all your stuff and watching you get excited over it, so, you know, let me give it a shot, man. It didn't disappoint. It nice. did not disappoint. Great, man. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that, Justin, man. Uh, before we kind of get you into the conversation, man, why don't you introduce yourself, my friend, and let people know, uh, you know, where, where they can find any content you might have out there for them. Oh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, not really much content. I'm more of a commenter than a creator. Uh, I'm on TikTok. Uh, I'm on Ionic Charge 05. But mostly, I just kind of comment on stuff. I love watching uh, pop culture. I'll watch a whole bunch of shows. Um, Marvel, of course. I've watched uh, a lot of stuff on Apple TV that tends to be pretty surprisingly. 
I was like, oh, I'll just watch it for like, I think Ted Lasso, and I just kept it because I just kept finding good stuff. <laughs> Ted Lasso, yes. Uh, C yeah. is a great one. Mm-hmm. Um, Severance was another good one. Mm-hmm. I think I, me and my wife finished um, Five Days at Memorial. They, oh, I didn't they, see that. That was the uh, uh, gold. Um, what they um, got? New Orleans. Uh, the floods, right? Yeah, the floods. Yeah, yeah. that was really good. Mm-hmm. Nice the perspective. Man. Yeah. Well, Justin, man, it's always great to see you. Like I said, as, as he mentioned, he, he commentates, he leaves comments, he leaves some of the best comments I've seen. He's such a uh, well-spoken and, and has a lot of great things to say. So I'm so glad to have him on to the panel tonight. Uh, and just tossing it right to you, Justin, man, just your initial thoughts on this eighth episode, and then it hit you in the, in the, in the feels. Oh yeah, man. It really did. It was one of those, like Patty, he, he <laughs> did himself like from beginning to end of this season Patty, Patty, yeah, from man. like just trying to hold it together, trying to keep the peace and to see like what it did to the body. Like, yeah, I know mm-hmm. they say it's like leprosy, but it took a toll on him. He was, did everything he could to make sure this kingdom, this family or this dynasty stood together. And man, yeah. just to see him like literally just, it, he wrote our, rot rot away that's what yeah. power did to him yeah uh i saw a little bit of the um after thing and he talked uh, the actor talked about how um in in his eyes maybe he what in his eyes viserys wasn't the best person for the job oh, did, the, you, wait hold on can you say that one more time justin i think i might uh can you repeat that he wasn't well oh, inside the uh the actor was stating that viserys in his eyes didn't yeah. think he was the best person for the job oh okay i just i'm sorry uh, yeah. Did you hear that, man? And then, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward, he uh, he was the only person for the job. Like King Viserys was like the only person. Like yeah. I think really tried to serve the throne. Yeah. Serve the thing. It wasn't because like oh I want this family to be strong. I want this family to be strong. No, he yeah. was the throne is what's important and the the land is what's important. Yep. No, and, well like, said. It, well said. To I, just, I that, think yeah. uh, like Matt Smith, man, his facial expression, man, he face acted this hell out of the show. He's so, so great. He looked at his brother like, damn, what is like, this is really my brother. Mm-hmm. What are you? Like, what, mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. What have you become? You? Yeah. Like, this is, this, this is yeah. not the, the man, the boy I grew up with, the man that I saw. Like, this is the shell of the person I loved. And yeah, damn, that, that, that great face acting. I felt it. I was like, damn, yeah. good job. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Uh, I was speaking of face acting, man. Uh, I love Olivia Cook, guys. She is just, uh, she just <laughs> has the smirks, the looks, the eye rolls, mm-hmm. and it's she the gave eyes it to us. It's, the, oh, it's, the, it's everything. It's everything. She's sitting at the table of this man talking about the most boring stuff ever. You know, <laughs> she's like, can we end this conversation immediately? But the biggest thing is she's sitting in that throne. I don't know if this is foreshadowing for what we get a little bit later in this episode. And I saw the preview for next week. But uh, and, and also too, I want to point out she's rocking that seven star, mm-hmm. um, you know, so pendant, which we know from Game of Thrones uh, how that religious following uh, went to be. But um, tossing to you, Mac man, your thoughts on Allison in this episode and just kind of the the again i guess level headedness on her and then we'll talk a little bit about later where she kind of made amends briefly with renera but your thoughts on allison's presence and her humanity that's still there which one of the most powerful scenes is some she learns about her son but what do you think about allison in this episode she did i am not an allison fan yeah. you know black, i'm not i am black. not a fan of allison yeah however she in regards to the acting here it was oh, impeccable yeah, she she it nailed it yeah. she made me hate her she made me uh, be annoyed <laughs> yeah. with her she yeah. yeah she just i mean she she did it she delivered when it comes to the to the acting i mean she absolutely delivered when it comes to allison and her decisions i get it you know she's she you're right she had a decision to make and i i thought she was going to actually go left when she she didn't you know i thought she was gonna make a decision over someone's life that and i was concerned i was like oh she's gonna have to she's gonna have to make a very hard decision here but she didn't she chose you know to be humane about what it was that she needed to do Mm -hmm. and so i i understand why allison is doing everything that she's doing i get it but you're you know she just has stood by the king in a different kind of way, you know, she did great. This was a this was a great episode in regards to her acting, and in regards to what she did. It makes sense, you know. I get why she's doing what she's doing. I get it. I agree. I agree. Um, 
Eric, how do you feel about Allison in this episode? And 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 we're gonna and just kind of I guess dive into that scene very up top when I mentioned her humanity. If that was Cersei Lannister, that would have found oh. out that oh. one of her sons, yeah. and particularly Joffrey, Dead. you know, took you know assaulted a girl and potentially would have gotten her pregnant. Her she head would have been off her shoulder. Yeah, she would have been, been dead. Joffrey, dead. Joffrey would have got her out the way first. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, very good point. <laughs> very good point. But yeah. if but if so happened, if he fell asleep and she snuck out, Cer right. Cersei would have killed her right away. But yep. Eric, the 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 little bit of humanity because you know when you threaten to take out a kid's eye like she did last week, you, you lose a lot of points for me. <laughs> But she gained some of those points when she tried to help out that young girl with giving her, you know, the tea um, that we know about from episode two. But Eric, man, your thoughts on Allison and the humanity that's still left in her? Yeah, it was like back and forth that whole scene. I, I was kind of, again, that was another scene. I don't know if any other episode this season has had like just so many scenes that are just so tense and you're just like kind of wondering where things are going to go. But um, yeah. it's, uh, not really much content. I'm more of a commenter than a creator. Uh, nope. Got to yeah. replay. Someone pops oh, from YouTube. Oh, you good? You good? I wasn't sure if I was the only Ooh. one hearing that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I was wondering if that was that might have been me. I'm trying to mess with stuff. Sorry. Oh no, you good? You good? No worries. No worries. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think uh, just yeah, she really was echoing Cersei, but at the same time, you guys are right. She definitely kind of kept held herself back from going into full Cersei territory because I yeah. I was thinking in that scene like, oh, she she gonna like. Cut her tongue, right. yeah. I thought maybe when they gave yeah. her the tea, yeah. I thought maybe the tea was poison. Yep. <laughs> or also though, I thought. What does that say about us? That's where her <laughs> raw mind no, immediately last goes. Last year she tried to take a kid's eye, and so <laughs> right. it, it exactly. started like, "Oh, we don't fool with you and kids." Mm -hmm. Like, no, yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not, it's not us, it's her. <laughs> and the girl could barely even talk. Like she can't even get out the story. I mean, she's talking in front of the queen, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's so many levels of, of scare. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Eric. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I figured, though, then I thought, okay, she's drinking it, but why would she already have given her the coins, I guess, if, if she was going to yeah, poison her? Was, although, yeah, yeah. although, I mean, I, not that I at all think this happened. You, you could you could make the argument, we don't really see the girl after she's, like, drinking it. I don't know. Oh, like, she's <laughs> I'm just dead off screen. <laughs> I don't know. Probably <laughs> no, might, might find that out. True. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I don't think that's the case. Just something to consider. But, um, yeah, no, I, I think uh, Allison's. I think she's still on that Cersei path, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just even the fact that, like you guys mentioned, she's, you know, she's sporting the, the seven pointed star. That's exactly what Cersei yep. did. Very political move there. Yep. Um, it's like, I know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just curious to see, like, well, like, like, I know some things, obviously, but, like, uh, yeah, I'm just curious if she's. You not quite reach those Cersei heights, but she's still, yeah. even though she's holding back, she's like more and more every episode. She just reminds me like she is such like the Cersei of the show, you know? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, we got to remember too, and, and tossing to you, Johnny. I mean, Cersei wasn't always evil, right? We saw um, very few flashbacks in Game of Thrones, but we saw her when she was a kid. She wasn't always an evil, uh -oh. conniving, despicable person. She had some heart to her before the, the you know, the throne and power corrupted her, but uh johnny your thoughts on on mrs allison and, and then particularly in this scene i i was surprised that the, she did have the humanity because i i was expecting that something was going to happen during that whole time is she going to is she going to take out a dagger and stab her is she going to stab mm -hmm. the girl in the back while she's hugging her is right. uh, she going to have one of the guards come <laughs> and, and, and come and behead her feed her to a dragon like, is she, is you know is uh is she giving her poison right um I thought for sure that she was giving her poison. Yeah, same, I didn't think she was. Same. I didn't think she was giving her the um, the 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 Rhaenyra tea. Yeah, you know, I, mm -hmm. uh, uh, trademark RT. You know, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, I I I didn't trust her as having humanity anymore after what I saw last episode. Yeah, but maybe uh, the last six years or so, um, and being uh, separated from the other part of the family and, you know, dealing with everything that her husband's illness and everything else has given her some more humanity. Or, you know, or, or, or yeah. restored it, restored her. Restore, her. Yeah. I definitely agree with you, Mac, your thoughts on, on Mrs. Allison. And, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, guys, is that the girl that gave her the milk was the same girl that talked to Mysteria later in the yep. episode, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah, could have been poison yeah, without even um, Allison knowing it. Right. Um, she don't even know. We'll talk about Masseria a little bit later, uh, Mac. But your thoughts on Allison, and again, just the she 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 um, number one, she comforts the girl, 
she understands that her her child is completely despicable for doing that. Uh, but then number two, giving her the coins and giving her the assistant to not carry on uh, something of, a, of having a, a, a monster have you know have a child with you. But your, your thoughts on Allison and this decision here? This was amazing show of you know just kindness. She hugged a commoner, a girl who was literally at her feet. She You're grabbed true. her and embraced yep. her. She touched her. That was mm -hmm. so crazily, you know, passionate and just, it just shows an understanding. Then she broke her off, said here. Yep. And then <laughs> on top of that, she gave her some money and said, you know, look, you know, you can't, you can't tell this, you know, but I'm sorry that this happened to you. Yep. She tried to fix it the best way that she knew how she tried, yep. you know, and yep. it is sad watching her with this raggedy son who is way way further immoral than than uh than, than rainier ever was you know this yeah. is this is on a different level of crazy yeah. her son and she knows her Evil. sons are, are, are wrong she knows that mm -hmm. um and she just she just didn't know other than she did slap her son which i thought was lovely but yeah um, <laughs> yeah it, it shows how she is kind and she does want Allison has always just kind of wanted to do the right thing. And she's that's surrounded so true, by people yeah. who it, that's really yeah. all she wants to do is do the right thing. Yep. And she's just surrounded by idiots. She's surrounded by a lot of people doing wrong things, you yeah. know, and, but it was lovely to see her embrace a commoner who was literally at her feet crying after she had been traumatized, after right. she had been mistreated. Right. She's on the ground groveling for her life. It was Very insane. True. It was so emotional. I was like, oh, it was. My goodness. Oh my um, goodness. Justin, man, your thoughts on this scene, man. And keep in mind, like like we've all been saying, she could have immediately, number one, she could have said she was lying. Um, especially as Max said, she's a common, you know, I mean, she could have clearly lied and made something up if she wanted to, right? I'm talking about Allison, like she could have said she could have just immediately just taken her son's side, but she knew what her son's capable of. Uh, but yeah, she showed kindness. Your thoughts yeah. on this, Justin? Uh, you know, I... Seeing how there, there's all this stuff about religion around them, I really do think that came from the the queen. Like if you remember in the beginning of the episode, mm -hmm. a lot of the dragon stuff or Targaryen stuff were taken down, and there was that seven point star now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I really do think like seeing that uh, symbol on her chest, she really did try to find some kind of redemption arc, or more likely some faith. So, so you think her religion? I was going to ask just yeah, you think she is I embracing the religion and not just using that as a political ploy. Like she's actually believing in having like a new path of forgiveness and kindness. I think so. I think she really did try because e even from the very beginning, she was a good person. It was unfortunately right, it was her right. father and the patriarchy that really stored, steered her to where they wanted her to go. So it's, yeah, you know they would look bad attacking another princess because you all know what happened to the Thea. So yeah. they were really trying to find somebody to hit her. So they used Allison to do it. Right. So when I saw her having that, mm -hmm. you know, she's she's not she doesn't have that. I don't want to say killer instinct. Killer instinct I'm, yeah. I'm sure yeah. push comes to stuff. She does. I mean, we saw it last she, week. She's right. Yeah. Justin, she's yeah. about to take out a kid's eye. Like, <laughs> let me grab this knife yeah, and kindly is. poke around your <laughs> eye. Like, no, you're going to kill someone if you put a knife in her eye. I, I digress. Go ahead. Justin. So I, I really do think she, she went to the religious side and tried to find some kind of who she was before and seeing that scene. Like, it's still there. Like, she yeah. by no means is a monster. Unfortunately, when it comes to Game of Thrones, you're here for your family and you're going to fight to survive. If you don't, you're dead. Right. So, but I really do think, like, I know when I saw it, as soon as I saw the T, I was like, oh, that's probably the T or the after plan B T. I think that's the yeah. best way I can describe it. <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm so terrible about this show. I know they have a name for it. I, I lost it. It's like, oh, I forgot it. Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think they got a name. Yeah, you just call it the plan B T or the plan B T. Yeah, the plan B T. Yeah, but like I, I think it was like the the act of compassion in there. If she like I, I seriously do believe Cersei wouldn't even have seen the girl. She would just been like deal with it. Right. She would have had the hound. Oh, not the hound. No, the mountain it. just yeah, yeah, the mountain just take care yeah. of it. I even seen her. Exactly. But the fact that she actually met with her and and she I I think when she smacked her son, I got so much of that Tyrion vibe. Where Joffrey was like, "I'm the king, you can't hit me." And he oh, smacked yeah. him in the face again. Season like, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't backhand him too. Like, put her whole body into that. <laughs> yeah, bam, smack him up. Or send, uh, <laughs> send my man. Um, what's my man's name? Cole? Drake. Otto. Otto. Oh no, um, uh, uh, Christian Cole? Cole. Yeah, yeah. put oh. put him put him in his in this place. <laughs> Definitely. So I, I really do like that scene. It seems like that where like not every character is uh evil unfortunately right. you know it, yeah. it's all point of view a lot of great from somebody's point of view you're evil somebody's other point of view mm -hmm. you're good 
So to see this, like she is still like, and, and I, I think I left in a comment, like a lot of the team black, they're self-inflicted wounds. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. a lot of the stuff um, by no means is green ever, you know, innocent because of what this little boy or this kid is doing. Yeah, this young man is doing, but at least it's not on the open. It's not like, hey, he's walking around with three bastards or women pregnant. So, well, um, shout out to Rachel. Uh, I saw a teaser. I saw the teaser before we went live, and it looks like there was a Targaryen baby in that trailer oh, that right. we saw a there. So maybe little Aemon, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, you know. Uh, G, your thoughts on Allison, man, and her uh, human side in this episode? All right, y'all. Here we go, man. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not buying it. You ain't tricking him. Ain't tricking him. <laughs> nah, Allison huh. is Allison is no good, bro. Mm. Like it's all in the <clears throat> eyes. Like she, yes, she consoled this girl, but yeah. she gave her the plan B as well yeah. and sent her on her way. Right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot she could have set her up in 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 some other situation, you know, just in case. But it's. I'm I'm just I'm not buying the look, bro. I'm not. And the the as soon as I saw the little crest, I was like, oh, she she running the play before Cersei even was even born. She already <laughs> know the game. Yeah, you know. So it for me it was it was more so I'm like, okay, is she completely evil? No, but it's like she don't do this stuff for nothing. Like I, I just I can't I can't unsee that yeah. dagger, you know. That was yeah. her. That was her, and she showed us who she was. So yeah. So you know, this compassion and stuff like that. At the end of the day, she was handling business. It's another Tuesday yeah. for her type thing. Right. You know. Right. I mean, and, yeah. Uh, her conversation with um, Aegon. Uh, I think that was definitely warranted. But oh, yeah. the the conversation topics was. You know what this looks like. You know what you're doing to the house, and like it was still straight. You know, still a little auto in her. Still, you know, what yeah, I'm saying? still like the mm -hmm. yeah, the bigger That's picture. Yeah. yeah, right. No, well, well said. Well so, said, man. And we got to keep in mind to your point, G. Last time we saw Allison, besides trying to take out a kid's eye, she was on that right. boat with uh, right. uh, um, like what is it, Lane, Lars? Larry? Lars, Larry. Yeah. yeah. Which, well, you know, six years. What have they done in the last six years? That's right. What, what, right. What, what, what could she have orders she have done, had him do in this episode, other than the six years? So I, I, I see right. where you're coming from, G. Well, yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not she, buying it, man. Yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, just quick question. I think oh. they said and clarified. Uh, Helena and Amon are married, correct? Right? Yeah, I think a, so. Yeah. Really I, it sounds like it. Yeah. Especially the way he got a little jealous when she was dancing with his. Uh, with uh, and uh, she's married to somebody. Yeah, oh, no, I think yeah. It, was, that's the sister. Right? That's the yeah, sister. Yeah, the weirdo. The oh, okay, uh, with the mm -hmm. bugs. It was implied, but I don't remember it being spoken clearly. But it was. Yeah. I thought she was talking about somebody were... random. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. I know uh, he would have been at the table. He would have been Amon at the table too. Said to Amon last week, "I don't want to marry her," and he said, yep. "I will marry her. Oh. I'll do so my duty." Yeah, yeah. So right. I think they are married, but obviously he obviously cheats on his wife and has another kid yeah. out there potentially so um something to keep an eye out for we talked about it last week helena again the, the she predicted the eye missing she, mm -hmm. the, the, the session of bugs yeah is there something yeah. i think we got to look out for yeah. her and also uh Maseria. We'll, we'll talk about her there's some people we got to keep an eye out for mm -hmm. yeah some big players um but speaking of big players i think one of the um biggest scenes um and i want to go with you first mac because again i know this is your guy and he hit the notes in this episode, <laughs> Mac. One of the first emotional moments when Renera and Damon um, see the king for the first time, Mac. And um, this was w one of many great scenes in this episode as, uh, you know, we're seeing the king. And as the king has seen his brother slash son-in-law, um, your thoughts, Mac? For anyone who's actually had to do this, this is what it looks like. They did it to perfection. They were shocked. They were trying to hold it in. They were trying not to be, oh my God, look at you. You know, they were quiet about it. Yep, they were, respectful, you could yeah. feel, mm -hmm. you could feel them just holding it in like, oh my God, do you see him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they were kind. She wasn't scared to touch him, you know, and that's, who's going to touch him? Who's going to bring yeah. their baby to him? Yeah. I was yeah. like, you're going to bring your, like, don't, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, don't touch him. You're going to bring your baby to him. Just super kind. Yep. It felt like everything that had been pent up and, and all the anger and all that just kind of had to go out the window. Like, oh, my goodness, six yep. years. And he was trying his best. The king, my, you talk about an acting. <laughs> you talk about some acting. 
Yeah. He was, let me, yeah. you know, I want to sit up. You know, he tried, yeah. he's trying to give them, you know, his best. Oh, and okay. they were, they were so appropriate here. I love that Damon had the wherewithal to sniff the cup. Like, what is, what's in this? Yeah. Yeah. What's in this? Yeah. Damon is such a gangster. I know we're going to get to him, but you know, I, oh, <laughs> Damon, Damon did a few things that were just super gangster here. But mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. regards to this, um, they were just appropriate. It just felt right. Mm -hmm. It was act. It just was acted to perfection. Um, Eric, I agree. I agree, Mac. Eric, talk to me, man. What did you think about this scene, man? Did you feel the, uh, as Mac said, the emotion, the, the sense of all the the, the years between Damon and his brother not speaking, Renera and her and her dad having the tension. Did you feel that all that was gone when they saw how broken and how withered he was? Yeah, no, I mean, just like Max said, this just felt like so genuine and real, like yeah. how, how I don't know, like when you have someone in that position, like just uh, how, I don't know, you and you have all this kind of issues and baggage, like sort of. Throw it out of the way, throw it out of the window. But, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's hard to say. It's like, it's not that it's, I don't, it's not really thrown out the window, though. Like it, right, it just sort right, of right. it sort of dissolves for a bit, and you just like to put it aside. Do anything yeah. else? Yeah. But but yeah, we all know now that now that he's gone, it it didn't really get all thrown out the window. Right. Um, right. But yeah, no, like just the way. Oh man, seeing him oh, like in this episode man. that in that this this first scene, like it was. I think this was like probably the hardest episode to watch. Just uh, just seeing every time you see Viserys, you're just like, oh man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like Ooh. I think, I think uh, oh, you get hit with some morning breath. Mm. <laughs> you know that room smelling like. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Like yeah, um, yeah. No, I just I think I think uh, Viserys has got to be the character out of out of all of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. He's the character I feel the worst for. Thanks. True, true. Like, uh, really, that really him? You feel the worst for him? <laughs> yeah. I can think of a few. Yeah, I can think of a few others. Like like who? Like Theon? Theon? Like <laughs> no. Theon? You feel the worst nah. for him? You feel no, worse but, for but, him? As the king. Theon deserved it. Theon deserved oh, it. Okay, no, I don't. Ooh. I don't think Theon deserved Ooh. it. Like no one deserves that. Yeesh. No one deserves. You betrayed it. Rob. Yeesh. But, twice. But um, but still, I mean, yeah, the, the Cerys has done like nothing but like be a good guy, and like, I mean, lived a long not life. always the best king, but like, like he's been like dying this slow, slow death, like for the entire series. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, I yeah, I'd go with Viserys still. Well, it was a slow, pampered death. It's not like he was out in the barracks dying. He was the king dying with all no, the sure. maesters around him, with all the hot poppy and all the stuff. I don't yeah, feel I don't, so bad I for Viserys. Just, it just hurt me to watch him, like in these last couple episodes, especially this one, though. Yeah, yeah no, it was it was definitely tough, definitely tough. Uh, uh, Justin, man, th uh, throw throw your uh, hat in the ring, man. What'd you think about? this scene and the emotional beats that did, did it hit you, man, Justin? Yeah, it really did. Like, this is like, they, they pointed out correctly, like the way they walked in, the way they were quiet, uh, it's some stutter acting for the way Matt, uh, Matt Smith was just a approached him. Like it wasn't even just mm -hmm. looking at him. It was like the little stuff on the side, smelling the tea, trying yeah. not just like looking him up and down. Like, this is my brother. Like what happened? Right. And like, even, even her like, damn, that's her father. And then he's literally running away in front of you. And, she brought the kiss to him, and even though to some extent I thought she, it was a little political ploy because she really didn't need her dad's help coming up. Right. But just to see, like, look at that face right now that Matt's doing, like, that's some perfect, like, natural reaction. Like, damn, like, that's my family right there. That's like, literally mm -hmm. his only family member left. Like, if, yeah. once Viserys dies, his whole past is gone. Like, nobody else will remember the past he had because nobody else was there. Mm -hmm. That's a that's some horrible stuff right there. And phenomenal Matt, that's acting right there. That is yeah acting reacting and they put it off it I hurt agree. it was visceral and you know it's it was painful to watch very much so uh many different levels physically uh mentally uh and emotionally uh johnny man your thoughts on this moment of brothers <clears throat> reuniting daughters reuniting with their father and uh like eric said not, it's not that you forget what happened these past however many years uh, that they've seen six years um but you put that aside for a minute because you see this man who was once a good, you know, king, you know, I don't say good king, good man and healthy <laughs> and, and all that stuff. And now he's laying on his deathbed. Um, it it kind of reminds me of for anybody that's been through it uh, personally with family members. Yeah. yeah it man. really made me think of when my dad uh, was ill mm -hmm. and how I had to fly back and see him. 
and um you know we didn't have any kind of baggage like uh like damon has that's, that's <laughs> oh, sure. not i <laughs> hope <laughs> not so let's, like, let's, let's make that pretty clear yeah but, uh um it just uh because this guy was a, this guy's a king and he was in charge of you know in charge of that realm and uh, yeah. it uh it also reminds me of a of a story of um um queen victoria when she died she died sitting in a chair and she wanted she wanted more time and she that's what the one thing that she wanted was more time and she didn't get any more time because when it's your time it's yeah. time to go right um and uh you know this is somebody that just like uh Viserys, um king of the seven kingdoms this whole large realm and now it's time for him to go and um Damon, uh, as, as somebody said, um, I forget who said this just now. Um, uh, he's he's the only person that's going to remember their childhood would be um, would be uh, uh, Viserys. And yeah. um, in my in my uh, Greek culture, we say when somebody dies, we say may their memory be eternal, which mm-hmm. means may you remember them forever. Oh, um, wow, and um, I've also um, heard somebody say to the effect of. Uh, your memory is only around long enough uh, when somebody is there who 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 uh, who know who knew you or or remembers you. So once once everybody has passed, and I think that's kind of what maybe that's what Damon is looking at. Uh, yeah. Once Viserys has passed, um, he's going to be the only one that remembers what they went through. And I, I don't know. If this, I don't help them grow up. A little bit. Yeah, I don't know if there's a certain amount of regret that was there or, or, or what, but um, yeah, I was touched by that scene, and I was touched by a later scene. But we'll get to that when 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 you ask us about it. Well said, John. Well said, G man. Wrapping up this particular portion of the uh, breakdown, your thoughts on the scene here, and kind of I guess transitioning over to you know the first time Allison uh, and Renera are in the scene together since six years, and I love I can't find the yeah. shot, but she looks at that scar, right? She's like right. Uh, she looks at the little scar on her wrist. But your thoughts on King Osiris and transitioning into this this tension yet again in the in the room with these three? Yeah. Um, as far as Viserys, like in this whole thing, I feel I do feel bad for him. Um, I don't think this makes him a like that this whole episode of just seeing him, you know, pass away like it, a, it, what's the word extinguishes? I don't know, but it, it takes away from him not being a good king, like because he's still not a good king because he don't make no decisions. But uh, besides that's one, that, that's one G, <laughs> <laughs> besides that, um, this was like the most human I felt like we done seen these characters because um especially damon like damon didn't even want to walk in the room at first you know he had to take his time yeah. getting in there right. and um uh, like i said like as they was just like watching over him and when Rainier was like it's me Rainier." i was like oh i was like oh here it yeah. come i was yep. like yo i'm finna cry right now but mm-hmm. i didn't do it um <laughs> But yeah, besides did. that <laughs> besides that uh just seeing you know them having this moment but at the same time like the thing that brought them here was some political stuff you know what i'm saying like it's been six yeah. years you've been dying yeah, since yeah, day yep. one good point you know yep. so it's it's one of those things where it's like yeah it's just it's just a part of life at this point like you hate right. that they took six years for them to get there to get, but at yep. least they have in that moment to you know at least have a semblance of humanity in the their conquest, I guess, you know, but yeah. Um, as far as Allison and Rhaenyra goes, that static is there from, from jump street is yeah. one that, you know, I don't, I don't think this episode necessarily mends it, but it's, it's something to recognize that at least like, you know, even at Allison's whole attitude and greeting her guests, you know what I'm saying? was still like, oh, here we, I gotta go talk to these youngers again, you know, like mm-hmm. I want, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna put on my best face, you know, but we all know what's really good, you know. Mm-hmm. So um yeah, I'm um it's I don't know, it's 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 good, it's good TV. That's all it's I can really TV. say. It's, it's good TV because yeah, it gets you going, TV. like it's just like man, I'm like, bro, <laughs> I couldn't be in Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, I couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't yeah. do it. I can yeah, do I it. it. I'm I'm built for it, I can do it. 
Nah. Shout out to or Mac. I'm I'm somewhere like on, on Dorn. Well, I'm name? I'm in Dorn chilling I'm with Dorn. them. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, I'm I'm not dealing with the I would never go to King's Landing ever. <laughs> nope. Um yeah, no wedding, baby. Getting no wedding. Yeah. No wedding. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Johnny. I'm in Dorn chilling with the uh yeah. with all those people. Um, before we move on, shout out to again. We got we got 67 people watching live. I appreciate every single one of you all. Um, I love these conversations. Uh, if you could give a video a thumbs up, share it. Leave your thoughts in the comments. We'll try to get to many as we can uh, if you have any questions for us. But more importantly, once this video is uploaded, make sure to follow every single one of these great people on the screen that you see here. Uh, show them some love and support. Uh, speaking of love and support, guys, tossing it to you first, Mac. This scene here, um, you know, I, 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 I correct me if I'm wrong. I think the last time these two shared a scene together is when we had a young Renera and they were having mm -hmm. their kind of talk about, you know, being a queen and what it means and playing the game. And now we get another scene, which is fast forward, however many years ago that was, 15 years or so. The tension of, and I don't know, Matt, I know we didn't have you on last week. I would have thought it would have been a good idea to let Rainey's know about the Lenore plan, even though she probably wouldn't have been against it for the son to do that. Um, but your thoughts on, again, just the resilience and the temperament of Rainey's, even with the idea that this person who's talking to me right now possibly set up my son to be killed. I love this right here. But before you get to this, yes. I just want to say I love Damon <laughs> for when the queen came in the room and he didn't stand up. Did you guys check that? Yeah, Damon, he was very, yeah you know yeah, he was darn well you're yeah. supposed He's to say, I said Damon is the game. So he said, oh, you forgot how to greet us? I, I said, oh, Damon. Mm -hmm. Damon gives <laughs> zero cares yep. about anything that, that she has or she's bringing. I love that dude. I just wanted to shout him out for that, for, <laughs> for being, you know, Damon. But here, this is, Rhaenys has got a better grip on all of this than everybody else. Rhaenys yeah. knows 100% yeah. how to play the game. Mm -hmm. She is the probably one of the strongest characters, if not the strongest character, and probably would make the best person to sit on the Iron Throne right now. Possibly. Um, yeah, and at least so Driftmark. It was, yeah, yeah but least, it was yeah, a, at sure. least, yeah, for sure. Yep. And But it was a, she's genius. She's playing 10 steps ahead. And because she understands how to play the game, She's able to look somebody in the face who she believes killed her kid. Yep. But I'm with you. There is no reason why Rainier shouldn't have pulled her to the side and said, look, I believe that deep down inside what you want is for your son to be happy. And this is what we're going to do for your son. You sh There's no reason in the world why I could think that she would have flipped out about what, what, what they were doing. I, agree. I, don't, I don't think she would have. And I don't Dad might have had something to say about it, but I do agree with you. Right but now, I would have probably would have understood. I probably, I actually don't even care if they had told the dad. I would have left that for her to do. Right. But I would, I wouldn't have let her think she lost two kids within two, two kids days. One, two, yep. Nah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, and what she something. did was lend her son <laughs> kindness. She, she was that was a kind thing that they did to him. He's not unhappy yeah, where he is. It's what he yeah. probably wanted to do, and it literally worked out for everybody. And now, when you need her in your in your pocket, you got to come to her groveling. And now you had to, you know, give, she's always groveling. She's always got a plan <laughs> about how to set somebody up. And, right. you know, it's, it. come on, Rain, Rainier bothers me right now. She's not quite <laughs> in her, she's not, she's not fully gangster the way I need her to be. She's just not yet, but she's Rainies. smart. She's not Rainier. No, Rainies she's plan. not. But she yeah. is smart. And she did come to the conclusion come, that she was yep. going to make her the, own the claim. Marriage. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, wait, she does. She could make her, her claim right now. And, you know, they probably would have said, well, wait, you know, maybe we should sit her on Driftmark or whatnot. Right. Um, but Rainice is the one, you know, she's the one to watch because she's playing the game better than everybody. She's just not stupid. She's She's been here before. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Justin, man, your thoughts on this? Number one, uh, you know, to, to give Renera some credit a little bit as far as gaming up, uh, getting on her level, she does come up with the plan to have the her son marry her, his stepsister. Again, the family tree at this point is yeah. just all over the place. But you know what I mean? Uh, come up with that plan. But again, talking about Rainice, man, and just the level headedness of her character. And just again, just the idea that you think you're you're this close to me and I think you killed my, my son. Man, the, the control on this woman is out of this world. Yeah, it's um unbelievable. Honestly, I don't think I could do it. Like she is, I think it's because she one, she's been through it before. Two, she she knows what people's player plays are because she's done them already in her head ten times over. Yep. So she's reading the room. Uh, I, I I mentioned it before in the chat, and like Team Black is suffering from self inflicted wounds, mm -hmm. and there are, there are certain people they need to have on their side. Her being one of the main ones. Yes, her husband was 
a phenomenal leader and he owned the naval, but by no means was she any was any less in power. Right. This was right. somebody she should have had on her back long ago, should have had on her side unquestionably long ago. Yep. Uh, as far as telling her about what the plan was for her son, I don't know. Honestly, I think <clears throat> she may have to some extent understood it, but I think she would have been she would have come up with a better plan. I'm not sure what her plan would have been, but it would have been better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but mainly for the fact that she knows this world and she knows for a fact that it, it doesn't matter what her son's is. She's, he's going to be in danger. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, uh, this, this was a great scene. I don't, I do think it's ironic that, you know, Riera, I'm gonna get her name wrong. The niece, the princess, she Monera, was yeah. against marrying somebody for power or trying to set it up when she was younger. Now she's doing but that. Now that she's right. older, yeah. She's like, no, my kids are definitely my access to power and I need to have everybody in my corner as much as possible. She's yeah. the but I do boys, think that's though. kind of, it's that's ironic, true. but it shows her growth as a, one, a political leader and two, somebody who's been in a position of power for quite a bit, like how easy it can go from you. Well said. Eric, man, your thoughts on this scene here, man. Yeah, I mean, I get where you guys are coming from with, uh, I definitely don't think she should have had a Re- Renice in on the plot to begin with because I think gotcha. that would have been too risky. But maybe maybe at this point she could have brought her in on the secret, arguably, but I think ultimately the reason she doesn't is because I think they're just pretty clearly setting up Rhaenyra as kind of the ultimate precursor to Daenerys and everything that happens with her. And ultimately, both of them kind of want to, at the end of the day, they want to be feared above all else. You know, so uh, they don't, I don't know, she, she doesn't want to risk anything getting out them about that she actually, like, spared Lenor. She wants yeah. that rumor to spread that she had him killed. And, yeah, she, she wants just, it's basically her, her and Damon versus the world at this point. Interesting, interesting. I like it, I like it. Johnny, man, your thoughts on this moment, man? Um, I, I think it was a very important moment to um, show uh, how these two, you know, have, have grown in the, in the, since the last time that since they, the last um, time. Mm-hmm. since the last time that they spoke. Yep. Um, I agree that Rhaenice is, um, is um, head and shoulders above Rhaenyra as far as knowing how to play the game. Um, and she could, she could stand to learn a lot from her. Um, mm-hmm. Good, uh, good move on uh, Rhaenyra's part to try to um, mend the uh, rift because she needs all the help that she can get against mm-hmm. this team green and their, and their uh, crazy large dragon and all of all of their um, uh, bannermen, mm-hmm. uh, because um, she's been isolated in Dragonstone, and you don't know what they've been cooking up as far as like getting people on their side. The, the last six years, if they've been building up some kind of fervent, um, a month, they've been because... building a basketball team. I'll say that, Johnny. They got Nineteen yeah. kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of couple of basketball teams and. Uh, uh, you know, in, in, in a full bench. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so they, they have been, fo- I think they've been fomenting, you know, I'm going to go to Andor. Uh, they've been fomenting some sort <laughs> of um, uprising, you know, nice. and uh, they um, have been talking to their bannermen and um, they're ready. Um, and uh, we're, pro- we're probably going to see it next episode of what their, what their move is going to be because um, as, um, uh, Vayman uh, pointed out, uh, Viserys um, took um, centuries-old um, tradition and turned yeah. it on its head. Yeah. So the patriarchy is not happy. The patriarchy wants things in the status mm-hmm. quo. They don't want a woman on the throne. Yep. Yep. Well said. Yeah. Gee, wrap us up, man, on this moment here. Um, I think... Uh, mm-hmm. hmm, how should I say this, man? Uh... I love I love this scene because I feel like uh, what's her name? Renice, Renice, mm-hmm. the older yeah. one. Um, they love to put people with similar names in the same place. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Renice and Renera. Yeah, yeah. So I think Renice had the the cold the coldest line of the episode in saying that um what she say she said I wrote it down ah uh, dang where is it wrote it down in front of you was it about the um, yeah them taking um, the blow I can't believe I don't see it right now. I don't know. Uh, the oh, wait. Ah, I lost it. I don't know. I don't know. But she <laughs> said. She said basically what she was saying was that. 
no, it's not there. Okay, so <laughs> you'll find it, and when you do, let us know. Let us know. But yeah, this, but just, this, this just can't. happened to me in school too. I couldn't read this, my own notes. I can't read mine on either, so <laughs> it's not just you. No, and just and you. I can't remember anything, so don't worry. You know, judgment. It'll come yeah, to you come or to not. You. It'll come tomorrow. I'll be like, God, damn. right. Right. <laughs> so um I like the way I like this way this scene was shot because like you, like the height difference and way they you know show the structures of like power. Mm -hmm. Um oh I know what oh, it doesn't more. matter. Was it that it doesn't matter? Was that the not, line? No, okay. Thought I was jogging you. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop. Uh nope, nah, sorry, I don't know. G, let it go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, like the the height difference in the way they shot it, it happened with uh, Alicent too, where um, Renice was basically saying like she was giving her the play, right? But you know, just as easily as y'all was saying like it was a good plan and things like that, it could be you know considered to look desperate as well. So like oh, that was yeah, a key yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. It was a key. It was a key note that yeah. um she said that and i was just like oh she just keep hitting her she thinks she like you know because she she's ahead used... of the curve but she knows what's up right and, yeah. and the way that she brought um her granddaughter to kind of soften her mm -hmm. up before having it. a conversation yeah and you know it's just like <clears throat> yo i've been doing this i've been doing this for a while yeah um so seeing that and then i don't think her knowing the plan to you know uh, get rid of Lena or would have helped the situation at all. Maybe they could have, you know, eventually sent her a letter or something from him or like something that she would know that he will only alive. write this, yeah. you know, if, if that was the case. Yeah. Um, because like the more people that you get involved in a plan like this, like, especially for how fast it happened, you right. know, it, right. it would have unraveled so much easier. Um, and nobody cried like she cried. You know what I'm saying? She was, she did it. She did that when she went crying on that body. Yeah. yeah. I would have told right. her after, not before. Yeah. Needed right. All that. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I think, I think that breakdown was um, telling. And yeah. I just, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, just how things play out at this mm -hmm. point because, you know, um, this is another point I remember that uh, with the, Valerians, it always seems like you know they get in the second hand of things or like they get thought of second, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're never like plan A, you know. And I get yeah. it, they're different houses, mm -hmm. but with you know, not only you know the the kids' marriage now, but also even uh Rhaenyra and Lenor's marriage, like that was a second thought, you know what I'm saying? Like they right. could have did that from the beginning, it's from only Jumpstreet, after yeah. something else happens that's just like all right now we got to go back to the valerians and see if we can make this thing they're our strongest ally you know and if you after doing that over times and times again you get moments where the uncle just like yo i'm tired of this man like <laughs> i just want to be with me and my peoples and that's it you know yeah, like so yeah. that's that that for me is like going full circle i was just like okay yeah this they showing they they showing up right now for sure well said. Well said. A couple things before we move on. Someone brought up a good question in the chat. And I see people answering and just kind of around the table. Uh, if you had to, if you, if you had a gun to your head and you had to pick one person to get an Emmy, uh, G, starting with you, then we'll go to you, Johnny. Uh, Matt or Patty? I'm gonna go Matt. I'm gonna go Matt. Which Damon one is Matt? Which one's it. Patty? For for the people who Damon don't know, Damon is Matt. Damon, Patty yep, is the yep, Viserys. Yep. yep. Okay. Johnny, it's on you. Uh, right now, I'd say Patty. Eric, Patty, because you gotta keep in mind too, Matt's gonna be around for season two, so he can get it. Next <laughs> he can get it next year. Matt, well, I think I know Matt, Emmy? but it's like she might surprise us. <laughs> the whole episode, guys, that didn't speak. Yo, like da Damon, Damon. No, no, I'm, whole... I'm sorry. I, maybe I should. I'm talking about for the show so far. Eight but episodes. This show, in. yeah, the entirety of the show so far. Damon, Damon did a whole episode where he didn't talk. He didn't say anything. Okay, yeah. so you I'm don't surprised. You just shocked me. I thought you was giving it to Patty, Matt. No, Damon. Oh no, Damon. Was that season oh. episode three when you fought like, the crab eater? Yeah, he didn't say anything. He episode. said one thing. He said one thing in the very beginning, and that was it. The rest of that, he carried yeah, the whole why, episode with no words, y'all. That's I why mean, he beat that that note taker for no reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to bring yeah. that up, G. You know, I don't know why you messed with me. I today. mean, I mean, when you say he carried the episode. You mean he he avoided all that? Uh, uh, all avoided all Stone those arrows. Yeah, yeah, he he yeah. had uh, plot yeah. armor. Superpowers, like call yeah. it. Very David good. has superpowers. Yeah. Really does. <laughs> yep. Yes, very mm -hmm. much. So he's the Flash. Uh, Justin, who you got, man? Ah, uh, Patty. Patty. Yeah, he really does. He's doing a lot. Yeah. Surprisingly, uh -huh. I'm gonna go with Patty. I'm going with mm. Patty. Uh, this is me and Mac. 
Yeah, I'm going with Patty on this one. That's uh, a great question there. Very great question. Um, next moment, you know, this isn't really like a scene that I really want to kind of express, but I do want to applaud the visual effects team for uh, bringing us uh, Steve Rogers uh, here in this scene. As far as the <laughs> Patty's weight loss in this moment, I, you know, yeah. this wasn't a transformation or physical trans like she, like he didn't lose 20 pounds for this one scene. They digitally did that. I thought that was whew, it was fantastic. So good. So you think he just got on a big old green suit right there? However How they do, they, yeah. However they make people, I like I said, Steve Rogers, however they uh, yeah. fix it yeah. in post, uh, they did a great job. Seems I mean, I could be wrong. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow that Patty or Patty, you know, lost 30 pounds just for this one scene and um, True. for his last day on the shoot. But I doubt it. They're trying to kill him in real life, too, doing yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Very method. Very method from Patty uh, with this character. Uh, but kind of moving on to the kind of bigger moments of the uh, episode before we get into all the really good stuff. But I think we can all admit that the scene and then the throne room was pretty epic. Uh, starting with you, Justin, your thoughts on just setting up the scene. We have this is the big day. You know, uh, Eric mentioned it. Or uh, G mentioned it's unfortunate that everyone had to come together for something political, but it brought them together. But the reason they're here is to find out who's going to be the next on the throne of Driftmark. Uh, Damon's making a really good pitch, Eric. We talked about She-Hulk. Um, if, if this was in court of the law, in the law, I don't know, man. We might have had to go with uh, Damon on this uh, particular trial. He's spitting some good game, Justin, and he's like, you know. My the bloodline tradition, you know, we got to keep it in the, you know, in, in the family. And he's saying some good things. Or Renera says her two cents, or at least she starts to, uh, Justin. And then the king comes in and shuts it all down. Oh, your thoughts on it, Justin? And of course, your thoughts on um, someone losing half their face or their head. <laughs> yeah, it, this I think this scene was great just because. You know, I didn't like seeing Otto on the throne. That just irritated oh, me. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It, it was like, there's no more princesses. You know, he's already on. He's been controlling the thing. Now you, there's no middleman. I'm, I'm on here. Yeah. Uh, I It was one situation where like, she knew this, the Oliver stacked against her. She was like, I'm going in. I'm literally Take finding from my, yeah. you know, basically with one hand behind my, behind my back with both mm -hmm. my knees on the floor. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, like it's once no, no, she has no friends in, up there to help her out. You know, they, this guy has like unfortunately, it's like a something that he he saw an opening, he took it, and unfortunately, she was too weak to defend against it. And before her dad showed up, I was like, yeah, this is gonna go bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is gonna go bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a scene that when that guy walked in announcing the king. The oh, projection of the Ceron was like, the oh, one last wild. time, he's coming through. Yeah. yeah he's, like, he's not going to let his baby grow down. He's going to get Man, up off that this... bed, even on his deathbed. <laughs> he's not going to stop him. For any sports fans, this was the Jordan flu game. This yep. was Jordan yeah. the flu versus Utah. Uh, you know, you had to have Scotty Pippen help him out, man. Uh, Viserys came on that court back and, and made a uh, – he hit that, hit that shot. Mm-hmm. You know? And I love the way he opened it. He's like, I were bringing up a matter. I thought this, I, like, I'm confused. I'm, I know I'm sick, but let me remember this correctly. Mm -hmm. We settled this. We settled this. Yeah. Th they're the kids. They're my heirs. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? And uh, that man got a little too brave for his bitch britches. And he was like, no, I, I know I'm right. I have all the facts. I have all the receipts. <laughs> right. And like, no, boy, right. in this, like, in this uh, place, you don't do that. Like, I don't care mm -hmm. if you're right. You're, you, they're, they're ready to kill people for this. Like everybody's mm -hmm. already agreed, and then when uh, Ren, um, the Thea, what's her name, Rieris, Rieris, Renice, yeah, when she was mm -hmm. like, he looked at her for help, and she was like, nope, mm -mm. I know this game too well, boy. <laughs> like, you remember, wrong. you came at me early in the episode, <laughs> payback. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, what are you looking at me for? Yep, hey, right. I just want to point out, I agree with you. I thought this was settled. In fact, we already <laughs> agreed that my kids are gonna marry her kids. Yep. Yep. So I'm just confused as you. <laughs> I'm just as confused that as you down. Perfect. That's exactly that's how I heard it in my head. Yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, we're coming to a barbecue. I was ready for the dinner later. Right. right. <laughs> but you know, uh, when when he was like, you know, he, he started going off, your kids are bastards. Just, I I, I think you it know. really connected me when uh, Damon just chopped off his head. He's like, bring me his tongue. Damon was like, nope, I got this. Boom. No, I'll bring you something better. Don't don't worry about it, brother. I got you. You stay right there. I got you. Oh, oh man. I, I, don't, I don't know what it was about it. They were like, get him. It's like, no, nah, you're good. I already did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yep. But that's what I'm 
<laughs> Continue so just like my sword off real quick. Like, yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Yep. Like, like, worry about. Him, did he use two sword, two handed on that blade, and he just like, no, nah, I got. I, I don't know what he did, but it was smooth. <laughs> but, smooth. Uh, just to see him back his brother. That, yeah, man. Like, it was it was beautiful. And not even that, Justin. Brother. He helped his brother up on the throne. You know? Yeah, that too. That's what got me, man. Because the last time me. they were in that room together, uh, Viserys had a knife. He was gonna do anything, but he had a knife to his brother, just banishing <laughs> you him. You don't right? know that. Don't <laughs> be on my list, back. Elliot. You don't that know was that. A, it might as well have been a, a butter knife that he had to his throat. <laughs> um, <laughs> which Max, speaking of, go ahead and take it away. I mean, this scene here, man, let's just break <laughs> it down. What, what stood this out? Was to it, you? you guys? Yeah. The tension was building. Mm. Silly, silly Rainier. Who, first of all, when let's just take note, guys. When you need somebody to do something for you. Don't be rude. Now you know that this man gets a chance to finish his sentence before you start finish his petition before you start talking. So I don't know why she thought that was her time to talk. Yeah. I was like, Rainier, you're playing this all wrong. You need something yeah. from these people. You're yeah. playing it wrong. But he gets up there on his high horse. Oh, he thought he was gonna win. It looks like it, <laughs> I even feel like he had conversations with Otto and Allison Pryor. He like did. he knew. Yeah, yeah I feel that. like yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah, he knew that this was gonna go in his favor. Yep. So every so all of us, we all like, oh, this is about to go bad. We're all clinched. Everybody <laughs> is nervous. And then Look we at, hear the door open. I said, I said, who? I said, Oh, he can't be out of bed. I said, it's not dinner time yet. I said, Oh, he early. <laughs> I was like, that's why he didn't drink his juice because he knew he was like, I need to be in my right mind. I'm gonna yep, right. pop yep. up on everybody. Y'all think I don't know? Up I'm telling him. you guys, we always think the king doesn't know something, or y'all think the king doesn't know. Mm. I've always said he's got a pulse. He's got his finger on the pulse, like he knows what's happening. Mm. So he's mm -hmm. got to come down here, and you guys, his 25 minute walk down. I was here for Ooh, it. I was right. here. I was concerned that he was going to yeah. die on the way to the throne. I oh, thought that yeah. the entire that time. Brutal. I said, he's not going to make it. I said, he's yeah. not going to make it. But when I tell you everybody understood who the king was in that moment, there was not yeah. one person yeah. that was not shooketh. Everybody looked like, oh, shoot. Otto looked nervous. Allison looked nervous. Look, <laughs> you know? So he gets yeah. up there. And yeah, he falls. And now when somebody offers you a hand, go on ahead and take it, king. It's okay. Yeah. We can clearly okay. see that you're struggling. Let's mm -hmm. Let somebody help you. So Damon's like, all right. And then, you know, we just see the outfit. We knew who it was, right? Yeah. You guys knew who it was when you saw the belt. I, I, like, for a minute, I thought it was Renera for a hot second. Or maybe his uh, okay. his sister. Or, uh, yeah, his, sword? No, his cousin. Well, I didn't, I didn't even see the sword at first. I just oh, saw, I saw someone the sword. I was him like, him oh, yeah. I was looking at the silhouette. You know, I'm always on what everybody has on. I really should talk about that more. But anyway, he, you see that. And I was he like, was oh, out. it's Damon. I was like, it's Damon. Yeah. And he allows his brother to help him up there. And they sit down. And once he catches his breath after another 20 minutes, yeah, puts the crown on, get yourself mm. together, take a moment, collect yourself. And now I have to come down here after something that we've already discussed. Why are we doing this? And then, yeah. like you said, the guy got loose. He got loose with his, with his tongue and got up there and got disrespectful because he thought that my king wasn't going to take his knife and stab him. I promise you. It would have taken yeah. him 20 minutes to get to him, but he was, he was, Slowly gonna, he was going for him. My king yeah. pulled out a whole knife on his deathbed, on his death throne, you guys. Yeah. And so true I, true I'm true here true for true it. True. I'm here for everything about it. But the best part is when Damon whispered, say it. Yeah. Best part of the whole, yeah. Best part of the whole <laughs> yeah. thing. I double Damon day. looked right at him and said, say it. I wish you would. I would yeah. right. <laughs> he, he, he whispered, say it. And that was that, and done. That's all he done did. Done and done. Oh boy! Oh <laughs> I boy. wish, I wish Rhaenyra had of bucked at that moment. I hate that she just kind of sat back and let somebody talk about her talk like about a dog. Her dad, like mm -hmm. the, yeah. Talk about yeah. it like Rainier, You just gonna stand there? You told him to oh. go to his chambers. I would have been egging my daddy on, like, Daddy, you hear how he's talking to me? Mm -hmm. You know, you this this is a problem. This is the problem right here. I'm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I wish the king king was going to get him, but I wish he had just said behead him. I wish he would have just told, oh boy, like, oh, get him. Head. Like, yeah. get him. Yeah, but <laughs> but it don't have to worry because where you slack, Damon will pick it up. And mm -hmm. there, that, and that was done. Done, Brothers done. keeper. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. Best Listen. scene probably here. Probably <sighs> thus far. Probably the best scene thus far. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's great. I will say, and we talked about it on the live stream, I will admit, um, it does suck to see, you know, a, a brother dying. You yep. know what I'm saying? Said, he had a lot of, uh, you know, we lost Corlise off screen. We, don't, we lose his brother. Maybe. Lenore's off somewhere. Uh, you know, Double homicide. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're losing him. We're losing him left and right, y'all. Um, but uh, he had it coming. You know, he had it coming. He was, uh, and shout out to this actor, by the way. He was, he was, yeah. he was, you all. I'm like, <laughs> He asked for it. 
He, he did. asked, he did. He asked yes, for that. It was like that was his suicide moment. Like, you know what? <laughs> if I can't he, be he on the throne, could, yeah. I just want to die. Well, go out, right? Yeah, so this is bang. how I'm going to go out. <laughs> Listen, oh, we got another man. special guest I just saw pop up, and we're going to get into his thoughts, but I want to get your thoughts, Eric. But uh, join us for the first time, man. We, we, uh, I've seen his uh, channel a couple times, got some great content. Uh, bring a lion to the stream, man. What's, what's going on, my man? How are we doing tonight? Hey, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Yo, good, 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 man. Hey, hey man. Uh, we, we, were, we were trying to link up a couple weeks ago, and I know the stream yard was acting up, but we, we got you on, on on a fantastic episode, man. How are we doing? Man. I'm doing excellent, man. Enjoying the episode. Yeah, I enjoy man. all the work you do, man. Big fan, big fan for sure. Oh, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Well, hey, man, before we get you uh, your thoughts in here and, and toss it over to Eric, man, why don't you introduce yourself and let the people know who you are where they can find you? What's up, guys? My name is Lion. Uh, I'm part of a, a small channel called Unstructured Media. We do TV show and movie reviews, so you can check me out there. I, I normally have my, my boy, my partner with me, Mr. E. He's uh, on a vacation right now, but... Uh, we're right now we're doing as you guys uh, the House of the Dragon review and uh, live streams and we're having a lot of fun. Huge, huge fan of the show. Awesome man, love the backdrop. Uh, looks awesome man, looks fire. Um, and I'm glad to have you on tonight, man. We're gonna get your thoughts here in a second, but I want to toss it over to my man Eric, man. Your thoughts on this scene? You can take it wherever you want, Eric. From brother helping brother. Renera trying to come up with something to to make her case look good, or you can go straight to the head chopping man. Where you want to go, Eric? Yeah, well, I just want to say, uh, yeah, I'm Mac. Really took the words right out of my mouth. I was just <laughs> waiting to say it, like, yeah, best scene of the show so far. But um, yeah, like, uh, just this this is the scene also that really made it clear to me that that's this is probably the scene where I'm like, okay, no, this is why Patty needs the Emmy for the uh, mm. season, and um. Yeah, that was just that was just like one of those really like, really like just like a, that was like a true cheer moment, you know, when he comes in to the to the to the room and everything. And uh, even though I mean, in true Game of Thrones fashion, you're cheering for him, even though you know the guy, the like like a uh, Vayman, everything he's saying is true. Very much so. But, Very but, much so. But, but how <laughs> he's going worse? about it, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Just I like I like how this book ends that character though, Vayman. Like, yeah. if you remember, mm -hmm. when we first introduced him in episode three. Like, yeah, what's mm -hmm. he doing? And he's like, oh, he's he's about mm -hmm. Damon, right? He's getting. I don't know. He's got like a real temper right from beginning to end. He's he's like just not having it with Damon, the way he's going about conducting himself in uh, the War in the Stepstones, and and now it comes to a head with him and Damon here. And um, yeah, no, I just uh. I, I, and also, this is probably the scene that fully kind of turned me against Otto. Like, I kind of, like, knew Otto was kind of sneaky, but I kind of still liked him. And he's still, obviously, he's a great character. But, like, everyone's kind of a great character. But, um, yeah, this is the one where I'm like, oh, okay, I, I want I want to see this guy taken down. And I loved, like, seeing his face, like, just being like, oh, shit, when uh, Viserys walks in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric, uh, he, was a, he was a star. Eric, struck. are you referring to this face here? The half of his face that's yeah. gone. That hey. face oh. referring to. Oh, oh. 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 I didn't even know oh, yeah. what I was then, looking at. Yeah, and then as far as that that yeah. part goes, uh, yeah, got the that, beard that too. Really caught me off guard because uh, <laughs> honestly, I can't even remember. The hair still there? Actually, the ruined the goatee. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like I can't even really remember. I don't really remember Vayman even from the book. Like yeah. that is one detail mm. that escapes me. I remember like every other Valerian in the book, but I don't know. I didn't, so I didn't really remember what happened to him because I completely didn't even remember him. So I didn't know what was gonna happen here. I was just like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> was was yeah. uh, was Viserys gonna like just yeah. go and try to like attack him? And what yes. Yeah. happened there? Yes, he would have. Yeah, he was trying. Sure. He was yeah. going. He and pulled then, out uh, his knife. He was doing. Yeah. Yeah, I should have known. Like, and this also brings it kind of full circle. <laughs> With the first episode, how Damon sort of says that that Viserys will be better off at his side because he'll protect him, and you know he does here. And uh, I thought I thought it just like bookended so many things so perfectly. And uh, and also, I mean, yeah. Also, even though I like her a bit more than Otto, also it was yeah, it was satisfying also seeing the look on Allison's face. Yeah, Viserys <laughs> walked in. It's just like uh -huh. like it's yeah. Even though again, everything Damon's saying is true, but like. He's just, he's just not, he's not playing like he's like, we always say, I guess, you know, the main thing that gets you killed in this or game of Thrones is when you don't play the game Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. to say he wasn't playing the game. There was an understatement. 
<laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm... basically through a temper tantrum, but like, like yeah, it's it's so it's gonna happen. I mean, I I get it, but like at the same, I get it. that's like I I wouldn't survive in this world. I'd probably like either either just like be too timid and die, or or maybe just not be able to take it anymore and do what he something like he did. But yeah, he he just like really did not know how to play the game and uh, yeah. yeah, Damon Damon. Uh, <laughs> Checkmate. Seems pretty happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, need, <laughs> so, I need this on a on a t-shirt, man. Look at him the standing over the body. Like hey. and he was like, Oh, okay. you don't need to take mm-hmm. my yeah. My All heart. has been done. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, man. Heart. Johnny, where where are you at with this, man? What what uh this scene, the brother, brother love, where were you at, Johnny? Um the scene uh when he when the door opens and he, he comes and he starts walking, I was just I was so shocked that he was there in the in the first place. And then like others, I was wondering, is he going to make it up to the <laughs> throne? And then when he was near the throne, I was like, is he going to fall down on one of these swords or something? Gonna... That's what I was. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then nope. when uh, when um, Damon helped him, um, I'm going to be totally honest. I came to tears. Yeah, I, I got have... a little teary out of too, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally to came to tears when I saw him, and I was just like, why yeah. am I? And I couldn't, I couldn't. Why am I coming to tears? Because he's been such a dick to him. But like, at least he showed. <laughs> His brother, <laughs> he's you know he showed his brother some compassion at that moment, and he showed that I'm here for you, brother, and I'm here for you to, um, <laughs> you know, to, to help you. And um, I loved it when he told when he took when um, Viserys told uh, Otto, I, I'm I'm going to be sitting on the throne tonight or whatever it was, you yeah. know, something to that effect. It was like, get that was petty. get get the f off of my throne. <laughs> yeah. This is my throne, you know. Yeah, I'm for not keeping it warm. I'm not dead yet. Yeah. yeah. So here I am. Um, so I loved that, and <laughs> like I said, the the brother the brother to brother thing really touched me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, meant, I meant to talk about that. Also, that that one moment the Johnny brought up might just that could Fantastic. have been my favorite moment within the scene. Even just uh, yeah, when when Damon helps him, I'm like, oh man. That... Wow, there was a yeah. lot within yeah. the scene. You're right. Like we have a tiny little pockets of yeah. they see the, the king for the first time. Mm-hmm. Damon helps them. Damon chops off his head. There's this scene is epic. It's fantastic. This might be the best one of the best scenes in all TV. <laughs> maybe. Maybe one yeah. of the best. A ball, a ball, oh, a ball, a ball yeah. wedding was crazy yeah. though. You guys oh, think about it. Think oh, about no, it. Yeah. I think it, it's go, it ranks scene. it ranks high. I can't Ooh. think I mean I can think of a few others. <sighs> You, you know, know what? What? I don't know about that. Yeah, that's a tall order. That's a tall order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need more bodies. <laughs> you said need, need more bodies. I don't know. <laughs> the, 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 the beheading took me by surprise. I, I yeah, didn't me too. It to happen yeah. that quickly, but uh, there it is. Boom on the floor. You're done. Yeah, it's John, over. Uh, it's Justin, what you had to say? You know, it, it just struck me that there's a great parallel between this scene, this on um, today's episode, and last scenes from last episode, mm-hmm. where. The queen was the one going mad, and her sons were the ones like, "Look at them, they're bastards. They're not like us." Right. And mm-hmm. nothing happened, right? Because they were too high up there. Yeah, they're too. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm not gonna yeah. kill my kid. And my sons want to say anything about my about my grandson. I can't do it. Right. But now this other guy comes doing it because just like you know, the queen, her son lost a nine. This guy lost a throne. He's like, I have every right to this throne by by law. By and law. Things yeah, the way they're going, and everybody knows already. There's like the most open secret in the room. Right. They're not who they say they are. You know, they're bastards. Yeah. I should, and then just like she did, she went crazy and went for the knife. He went crazy and went called that girl a whore. Yeah. It's like a crazy that kind was, of parallel. That's a little different. That's a little different. That's a little different. Yeah. That's a little different. But yeah, it's bad. Uh, so many great moments. Uh, Lion Man, where, where are you at with this, man? What stood out to you in this scene, man? Was it the head chopping? Was it something else maybe entirely? Where were you at with it, man? So. Uh, this is uh, Viserys' biggest moment in the whole se- in the whole show so far, because one complaint that I have about this character is I don't like Viserys at all. Ooh. And from Hold episode on, one, it's okay, Mac. It's all right. Mac. It's all right, Mac. <laughs> hey, listen, this guy has been the weakest king we have seen in oh. the show. Oh, that's true. Every- it is okay, Mac. Everybody, everybody makes decisions for him, right? And I've, I've been on my show. Oh my I've been God. saying every episode, <laughs> Viserys is dying. This episode, he's dying. This one. <laughs> Oh, he yeah, finally yeah, made yeah. it to episode eight. He makes yeah. it to the end, right? But this scene, at his weakest moment, this guy is, is limping. He's falling apart. He has holes everywhere. He's almost done. Like we are, I'm, I'm waiting for like an arm to fall off or something because this guy is done. He showed the he greatest strength because he loves his daughter so much. He mm-hmm. got off from that bed. 
he showed yeah. so much courage. He showed the why he's king. He walked yeah. uh, up to the throne and he made a decision. He he made a tough decision in that room, right? And that ended up costing Baymon's life, right? Baymon was justified to what he was arguing about. 100%. Ooh. Ooh. I, I think so, 100%. Throughout the 100%. show, I've been siding with the Greens, right? <gasps> oh, I see. We this guy. House, guys, we got a Where did you get this house. guy? <laughs> I, 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 love, conflicted. I conflicted because you have to know what was happening here. Yeah, Allison was put in a position where she has to obey her father. She marries this guy, this king that, that's falling apart. And she always tried to play the nice person with uh, Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra pushed her away. Now she's in a position where she has to stand up for her family. And there's no guarantees that if Rhaenyra takes the, the throne, her children are not going to be in peril. So she has to make a decision. It's either her family or the other. Mm -hmm. So because she's in this position, I feel some sympathy towards her. I don't feel sympathy towards Otto. Otto is being conniving and scheming through the whole thing. Right. So uh, in this moment, when I see Bayman arguing, like, listen, I should be the one that ends in uh, <laughs> leading uh, Driftmark. And everybody's arguing, no, it should be uh, Luceris. And we, everyone can see that Luceris resembles nothing like a Valarian. I mean, and the poor man gets his head chopped off. If it was a little bit unfair for uh, for for uh, Bayman, but the biggest thing I just want to say in this particular scene that stood out for me is this is the biggest moment for Viserys mm. at his weakest. Yeah, that's yeah. when he finally stood up. And you know, and the scene I didn't even bring it up. The scene prior to that was uh, at night. Renera went to her dad's bed and said, "If you, oh, I can't remember the exact wording, me. but essentially protect me, protect me and my family." And, and, <laughs> That was enough, yeah. enough motivation to get her dad out of bed. He got up. He got up. He, 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 he didn't cover that call. her. You know, he didn't cover her properly for her to go in. Yeah. If we had taken yeah. care of this, I will give it to you guys. If we had taken care of this particular issue, That's one, we wouldn't saying. have a show. We got, we got but some, two, we got some greens in the Yeah, house. we got some greens. Oh, yeah, some greens out here. I got some greens out here. You know, I'll give you that. But I, you know, the king, I do not consider the king weak. I consider him probably one of the strongest just because he's going oh, against okay, what everybody okay. thinks. You got, you know how I feel. You know how I feel. I just, just because we don't rule with an iron fist does not mean that we're not ruling. I'm just saying. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Sometimes no decision is a decision. I'm just saying. You know, no pay. What you got, I'm not... G? What you got, G? <laughs> Look, so if Viserys was a strong king, right? We mm -hmm. all have our strengths. He don't got to be go out there and be a conqueror. You know, sure, he don't got to sure. go out here beheading people. But what is the thing that we know he loves the most? Go set Legos. Come on, y'all. If, if you don't stop the, it, if, no, I'm being dead serious. He got the big old, you know, model in his room that he's been looking at for years. Where is the infrastructure? Where are the the new buildings and the new things they, to they, add they to King's Landing? You know, they, 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 like that. That could be the things that he wants people to write about. We don't to know. To be fair, you know. To be fair, this is the moment that the Targaryens are at the strongest in the in the whole in the, in in the, the whole book. So yeah. he has ruled. Right. He has done. He has been a good ruler, but yeah. I think Otto yeah. has yeah. had the hand in that. Otto is the one that have moved the <clears throat> politically to make sure the kingdom is is well taken care of. In a good of. position, yeah, yeah. The right. best thing Otto did was marry his daughter. Make sure his that was that power play right there was genius. Huge. It was, yeah. yeah, and it has aided this. Uh, it's aided the kingdom, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's what a hand is supposed to do. I think everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. It's okay to consult with somebody else about your decision when you're the king. It's all right. right. And it's a, it's a it's a stance of just like circumstance. You know what I'm saying? It's just like these are the cards that you get dealt. <laughs> yeah. You know. Man. But um, uh, another thing that we haven't really night. talked about, and just this whole you know, from episode one to whatever, mm -hmm. is how big of a role this door has played. And making these amazing moments. And the door I'm talking about is the door to the Iron Throne. We got Viserys entrance. We got Allison entrance. We got all these of uh, the Valerian's entrances. Like these Damon are the too. moments. Damon, Damon too. Yeah, yeah remember show. when Damon was sitting on the throne yeah. in like episode one or two? He was sitting yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. The way that door just creaks. I was oh, yeah. like, oh, what's happening? MVP, what's huh? happening? Yeah, yeah. Supporting, supporting role. I just, I had, to, I just had to point that out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but obviously, like everybody else said, um, you know, uh, the Viserys walk. You know, that's what I'm gonna call it. The Viserys walk did take a little minute, but I was here for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At this point, I was rooting for him. I was just like, hey, man, you're doing your thing right now. Because mm -hmm. who else? Like, are you feeling that bad? 
you know, just to be able to get up to that throne and, and handle business like that. I love the way the auto looked on his face where he was like in disbelief. Like this man ain't Couldn't believe stood it. up in six years. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, Couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> today of all days, you know, yeah. I'm finally sitting up here on this throne finna make things the way I want it. Right. right. And right. and you come in and ruin the party. But um, you know, Damon helping them up the stairs, that was that was a great moment as yeah. well. And as far as Vayman, man, uh, I empathize with Vayman. I do just because, you know, like he literally is only spitting facts, except when he gets starts to get to, uh, over the edge. You Start know what I'm saying? Name and stuff, yeah. Right. Right. Because <clears throat> like in that moment, I was like, oh, I've been there. Like I've been I've been right. But just like circumstances just don't sometimes it just don't matter. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and then you end up losing it. And then you looking at like you don't get your head chopped off. But you're like <laughs> you just, you know, you just sitting there like, man, like I can't believe this. You know, he thought he had people in his corner. Mm -hmm. Turns out he don't. Who like, knows? He just he, well, I guess Allison and Otto. Allison and Otto. Allison and Otto. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But he thought he as, had his sister in law in his, his corner. Sarah, but, yeah, he thought he yeah. had Ray. True, Ray, true, 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 true. Ray, 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 Ray. Right. So Ray, it's Ray. just like, man, y'all really doing this right now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know? So when Damon and antagonized and was like do it do it he's like you know yeah. what i will like you know and charge it to my head not my heart and that's what they did you know yeah. so i just i just love this whole moment like like uh elliot said earlier like the fact that he had to die sucks because he lost, apparently lost two you know black gang is in his joint but he brothers. went he went yeah. he went but he, he went wasn't out. confirmed dead right not, he's just not got a fever on the boat. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a fever on the boat. Don't write him off yet, y'all. Let's, let's, yeah. I'm let's just wait. Saying, we let's let's wait. I mean, I, King I, I, Viserys led with, with um, leprosy for 30 years, so yeah. What'd right. you think, Justin? Anything's what were you possible. saying, Justin? If you, Rule number one, if you didn't see a body, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. Although we know that the king's dead if you watch with captions because they say his breath. The last breath. Yeah. yeah. Plus the teaser. Yeah. Even, a little yeah. Too, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but as great far stuff. as the, great stuff. Yeah. Go I ahead. One more thing. As far as like Damon, like Damon is, he deserves the enemy because he's done the most without speaking. Like Otto yeah. doesn't really yeah. speak either. Right. Like he, he has his moments where he has like things to say, but a lot of times he ends up getting cut off or moments where he should have some more pushback like mm -hmm. when he was getting fired for the first time like he didn't say nothing then for, for real fired. so like i think i think that uh was an, an important to point out too because damon like he he snuck my man's like he he ain't, like you know i'm waiting for damon to really have a real fight because anytime he win against somebody it's just like it's never like you know on well, screen head up. yeah or yeah, it's we, just we, like yeah. Yeah. Grunts. 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 For huh? a crab fighter. What are you talking about? Well, that was off screen too. That was off screen though. Yeah. Oh, for him to kill. Yeah, the kill. Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that. I didn't yeah. enjoy that kill at yeah, all. Christian yeah. Cole. It's okay. When he kills Christian Cole, oh, it's gonna he be lost. on screen. Okay. Took an hour. When he, Christian, when he kills yeah. him, it's gonna be on screen. So don't worry, y'all so. will get your. You, you gonna get your fight. <laughs> We're gonna get our, our Damon. You get your fight when he kill him. Yeah. I hope so. I or he might so. have to kill the other guy, but we'll get there. Which other? He might have to kill his. I think he's got to kill his nephew. Amen. Is his, is I'm, waiting, I'm ready for that one. Oh, that's his that reflection. That's his mini me right there. Yeah, I'm ready yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah. Even stronger, I think. I yeah. no, there is a. Yeah. I, I have read a couple stuff, and there is a character coming up, the uh, old man of the north. He probably has a really good fight scene with Damien, and even Damien admits that the Stark uh, king from the north is like one of the best fighters he's ever fought. Mm. So I can't wait to see okay. him coming, but that probably won't be until like season, season three. Season two, season three, yeah. I'm here for it, man. man. I'm here three. for it. Well, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. We got at least four or five of these things, uh, G. I'm here for it. Um, it's lit. Listen, before we move on, shout out to everyone watching again live. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but uh, shout out to uh, King Viserys. You know, he's, he's a good dad, man, because he's – he's uh, starting with you, Lon. He, he wants his son lost an eye, you know, about six years ago. So he went ahead and said, you know what, son? I'm going to go ahead and lose an eye, too, uh, as, we, as we see him <laughs> as he really <laughs> is – with his mask off, um, you know, there's a time and a place Crazy for that, Viserys, but not at the dinner table. But, you know, not, in all seriousness, uh, Lion, this is a, another great, powerful scene because at this point he has his family together, regardless of the pettiness, the hatred, all the stuff that's been going on from not only his immediate family, but then their kids. 
he has a happy moment like with his family all together man for just a brief moment everyone's and they even gave us i, I will admit guys I was, that was a little cheesy the little montage of them like otto and allison like clapping hands and <laughs> yeah uh, renera and damon <laughs> cracking that? jokes i'm like what is this am i watching uh, a hallmark yeah. movie what is going on right it was yeah. a little corny uh, but I get the sentiment there. But Lion, your thoughts on this uh, family dinner, the Targaryen Thanksgiving? You know, this is a moment that I think <laughs> Viserys has been waiting for for like at least 60 oh, years. Forever. Because we know we had a 10-year <laughs> yeah. jump last episode, then we have a six-year jump. This will be at least 16 years. Yeah. He's been waiting for this moment that the family's yeah. together and everybody's getting along. At least for like a few minutes, they got right. along. Right, right. So that was that was the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't agree with him taking his mask off be, before they finish eating. Oh, Come on, man. It's like, man. We could have waited. Do? We could have waited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the thing there. But, yeah. um, and then, uh, you know, one thing that's special about the show is that there's so much that is told in those quiet moments. If you look at the actors, yes. yeah. just mm-hmm. when they're quiet, when, they, when they're just looking at each other, they, the, the facial expressions that they make tells so much in the story. Yeah. You look at yeah. Amon throughout that whole dinner. He's yeah. making faces. He's looking like you that can man. tell he's intense. You can tell that he's evil. And you can tell that he needs business. Yeah. So those moments, they told such a great story. Just looking at those characters, just looking at each other and that tension that's building up. And then when they're happy and you know that Eamon was ready to blow up. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, that there was a, 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 this is probably the second biggest scene, I think, in this episode. Yeah. Uh, and it's why uh, Viserys wanted for so long. And, yep. and this is when he knew that he wasn't gonna, he wasn't going to be around anymore after right. this scene. Truth be told, Justin, I think he's been le- he's been fighting this leprosy for however many years he was first diagnosed in season one or episode one. I think he's been waiting to to get his family back together before he left this earth. I agree with you, man. Yeah. I, I, everything about this scene seems like this is what I I survived. This was, every day when I woke up, this is what I was looking forward to. It may have hurt. It may have been terrible torture, but this was right here. This is what he was uh, waiting for. And as cheesy as it was, I loved it mm-hmm. to see him with the, his family back. Like the, the, this right here is that this right here what we're fighting for. Yep, we're only as strong as yep. no, nothing's going to tear us apart except each other. Yep, and how true those words were. Like this yep. house is so strong that nothing will destroy us except the people in this room. Yep. So and just uh, you know, I I have cousins. They mess with me. I. The, the <laughs> they mess with you, Amon. like Amon, uh, and, and maybe not Aegon, to that extent, Justin. but you know they're gonna they're gonna fuck with me. But you know he, <laughs> even at that, I don't think he's the uh, the conniving type. He's he's um, what's, what's the one I'm looking for? He's tight. He's entitled. Is what yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think Very even true. to some extent, he's kind of glad he's not the next one in line to inherit the throne. He's like, I get yeah. to do all the fun stuff. Yeah, he the, has yeah. to be the one yeah. being proper and in front of everybody. Good I get to that. drink. He's breaking under the pressure. He sh- they showed us in this episode that the reason he's acting out because he's he cannot handle the pressure that his mom is putting on him and yeah. to live up to be maybe the next king or or the one that's gonna be the heir. He's that's what causing him to drink so much. That's why he's yep. he's just a mess up. So uh, they showed us that in this particular in this episode. Yeah, that's true. I saw, I saw that look he gave to to Otto. I was like, oh damn, I gotta do something. Yeah, he's like, I'll <laughs> shake it up. Yeah, shake shake the tree, son. Um, so- what about you, uh, Mac? How'd you feel about this family dinner uh, from the King's speech to the family montage of, you know, everyone's kissing each other's butt uh, <laughs> to the two uh, Aegon and Aemon just uh, shaking that, that, that tree? First of all, let me say I was really happy to see Damon sitting at that table because I think the scene before this, he had just taken somebody's head off and they were acting like they were getting ready to do something. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. first of all, he was, this is, he's the prince. He just chopped off yeah. a regular head. Like, y'all not finna pull your swords out on him, are you? I was confused. Like, Otto, why are you, what are you doing? Because a prince just took off uh, somebody who's lesser than his head, right? So I was like, D- unarm him. I was concerned. But he was sitting at the table like he didn't do anything. So I was like, <laughs> okay, we're cool. So I was like, all right, we're cool. Um, if you've got to die, you know, and this is this is your yeah. last moment. This was Final his Hail supper. Mary. This was his Hail Mary. Like, look, this is, this is I'm telling you guys, mend this, fix this. This is it. I'm not going to be here. And it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know, it was yeah. it was beautiful to see them. See it. There was like one moment when it just felt like everything was cool. Mm-hmm. When I wasn't yeah. looking at, what are we going to call him? He's got one eye. What are we going to call I don't know. But is it Amon? Is it Amon? It's Amon. Yeah, and then yeah. Aegon, right? Aegon yeah. and Amon. Yeah. There was just yep. a moment when it was just okay. It was like a moment when Rhaenyra looks over at Allison and it's just like, mm-hmm. we can do this. We can figure this out. 
And then here come these raggedy kids. I was like, oh, gosh. gosh, so close, you know, so close. <laughs> And yeah. Allison, these are your children. The other girl, yep. <laughs> her children are soft as, well as, as cotton balls. You know, they mm -hmm. are, those boys are they're a little too soft. Jace, for Elliot. Jason, Jason, Luke. Yeah, they are. You hit that gross but they, they are um, directly from their granddad. They're the kind. They're the mm. gentle. They're, you know, and I like that from Viserys. But these boys, I'm going to need them to get a little Damon in there. Which is so weird because their dad had a little fight in them. Fight Harwin, in them and yeah. Renera has fight mm -hmm. in them. So I wonder where that, I guess it they're is come soft. from their, their granddad. That, they're that. a little bit soft, but they're good yeah. guys. You know, they're the good boys. They're not. Yeah. They're yeah. honorable. They're nice young men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to play this game. You got to be able to sit at this table, and you guys stick out at this table. So yeah, you know, I, I will admit that, though, uh, Mac, yeah. I was a little surprised that Jason, Luke, and and also their soon to be wives, they were very happy about that. Mac, that was a little yeah. disturbing to me. Like y'all are very happy Stop to be marrying your cousin. Stop drinking from that cup. Stop drinking from their that parents cup. Do it. Yeah, they like normal for them. It, so. They were happy. Be happy Ooh. for them. Stick. Come out. Don't drink from that cup, Elliot. <laughs> you will be confused at night. Don't do it. Leave this All over right. here. This well, is well, what they, they are too, man. I would be kind of happy. Those they were lo wife. They're lovely, right? They're lovely young they're ladies. Beautiful. It's a nice. You could get a very bad match, like this boy and his True. sister. That's not a nice match. Mm -hmm. that's not, Allison that's married not a, a corpse. So. <laughs> Allison yeah, did not get. Although Allison sits, I don't, you guys, Allison is a queen. You guys, she had to take that L. That, but that's not yeah. really an L. She's a queen. So we, and, and I guess if we're being honest, you know, they, yeah. they are, Harwin was their dad who's not directly tied into their lineage. So it is murky right. waters. Right? right. We can look what the show is doing to us. We're endorsing um, family marriages. So, um, but what was right. beautiful, I will say, lastly, yeah. what was amazing to see is that Allison grew to love the king. She did. She there's, did. There's no, she really did. Going back to her, her uh, and she's humanity. been and and Rainier was right. She, you've been by my daddy's side. My da <laughs> you've been you've been there. So yeah, very true. It was very a beautiful true. scene for a moment before until them little raggedy kids. <laughs> <laughs> they should have been sent to their rooms early. I thought um, Damon was. <laughs> yeah, uh, Eric, man, what do you think about this scene? Was it? Uh, and not to overlook, too, Renera and Allison putting their is issues aside, man, and saying very kind words to each other. Was it the King's speech? Was it where, where, what got you in this moment, man? Uh, my, my favorite moment was probably right at the start when Allison's like talking about uh, she's like giving a toast to Vaymond, like, may you rest in peace. And then, it, like, you just see Damon's face. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. Um, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that Damon would do that, but uh, I thought that was just really funny. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess just, I don't know. I think, I mean, I, I can see why, uh, why Rhaenyra's kids are happy about, uh, about their matches with, uh, with, uh, with their stepsisters. Cousins. Yeah. I, I guess cousins. cousins. You didn't have to do Our that. Cousins. You could have said cousins. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like they're by, by the, by House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones standards, they're, they're like barely related. Like, yeah, I get it. Characters. I get it. It's like, okay, a bit through the Targaryen side, but yeah. I mean, yeah. you see them as friends when they're younger. I mean, I don't know. They're both, they're both, those are the two sets of like, you know, good children. So it makes sense <laughs> they like each other. They were always kind of a pack, you know, kind of going against the. Uh, the, the other the AMA yeah they fought they yeah, literally they fought one of the best can kind of, also too I I watched last week's episode against early today one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen kids ever <laughs> yeah. be involved with uh sorry to cut you off Aaron oh, at the point no. that that fight scene last week was awesome yeah no I totally agree I just rewatched actually the last two episodes over the last few days as well but um yeah no I mean uh I don't know and I didn't I didn't, I didn't find it like I get what you mean I didn't find it cheesy per se that one part I mean if anything <laughs> for me I was just actually that was probably when I was at my most tense. I'm like, okay, this is like it's overly too, too happy. happy. Like, what? <laughs> like, that means something really bad's about to happen. I actually right. thought, surprised something worse didn't happen after that. True, but I, I think they were just messing with us in a way. Like that's that's one thing I guess House of the Dragon even more so than any time in Game of Thrones since we're so accustomed to it. We've gone through all of Game of Thrones. It, it like yeah, knows yeah. it knows like exactly how to poke at us and just to be like, hey, hey, what do you think's gonna happen here? And they, Sometimes subverted, yeah. sometimes, but um, yeah, I guess. Uh, uh -oh, is, is Vecna uh, here to get someone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vecna? Oh boy! I'm glad I don't know what that is. What? Oh, you don't you don't watch Stranger uh, Things? Oh, you gotta watch Stranger Things. It's right. good. It, it's scary, bro. What are you yeah. talking about? I don't watch yeah. scary no, stuff. No, it is. You gotta watch. I'm not, I'm not good with horror things, but Stranger it's Things good. is fine. Trust me. Oh, I it's love good. it. I love it. Maybe. Um, but yeah, go ahead, Eric. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. And what else? Um. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was just, it was really tense for me. This whole scene, the whole episode was just like, it was just like, it was like that wedding, except I don't know. This, this whole episode felt like worse than, worse than the wedding for me. Cause it was just, yeah. I don't know really? the whole time. Everything was just bubbling up and, uh, yeah, I mean, it almost seemed like Aegon actually was going to like, at least for a moment, kind of not be a dick after, after <laughs> the Theros made his speech. But then yeah, I thought, it, I, I don't know why, it's dumb of me. I thought maybe he was he went over to, what is it, Reyna, I think, like the older one that's going to wed Jace. And I, I thought he was going to apologize for what he said before, but then no, he, no, like, no, he, he just no, kept no. going with it. It's a lost no. case. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, and I just, I Low think. fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But but like I said, I think, uh, I think, uh, what the shit, Eamon is, I think, even just, I don't know that 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 one that guy bothers me even more than Aegon. Like I don't know he he's he <laughs> seems like he seems like even more of a psychopath. Um, yeah, is know. it weird that I I, I like Amon man? Is no. it weird? I Which one is Amon? Amon is I, I or Amon is the other yeah. one? Yeah. I got because of how bad Damon he vibes. is. That I, that I yeah. like I like it's to Damon hate vibes. people like that. I Facts. think he's great. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I don't like him at all. I mean, oh, maybe, maybe. lost an eye game and dragon. Come on, come on. Lost an eye game and dragon. I, I kind of liked him last week to some degree. I mean, not yeah. really. I know. I mean, yeah. I liked him when he was on the dragon. What? I was like, yeah. Uh, but then, I mean, as soon as he's like, he started uh, coming in. Your mom's dead. Get over it. Yeah, I'm like, okay. He picked up like, the rock, you guys. What he, yeah. he picked up the rock to kill his yeah. cousins. Yeah, I like, just like I good villains. That's then, what I'm getting. I like a good villain. Now it's now good. With, uh, now yep. that he's like, I don't know, he just seems really creepy man. now that he's older. And and it's weird, he almost seems like, now that they're older, like, he seems, he seems older than Aegon. He seems older, 100%. Yeah. He seems One, so yeah. much Way more mature older. than his older brother. Yeah. And yeah. Jason, yeah. the, the, the youngest one, seems the super dragon. young. <laughs> the, the yeah. dragon. <laughs> but the youngest one seems super young. He doesn't seem like yeah. he's 17. He seems they didn't like get the heights younger. right. No, they didn't yeah. get that. They, yeah. no, they probably didn't. No. It's more like oh. a recast than a, you know, time skip. I feel yeah. like. But um, I guess uh, at least gave him a beard or something. I don't know. And then so that's, that's pretty much my thoughts on that scene. I just one thing I forgot, or actually, okay, two quick things I just forgot to mention before. Oh, um, um, I don't know if this is like a, I mean, I, mean, I think this is probably already kind of apparent, but I don't know. If it's not something we really brought up, but like with the whole the previous scene with Baymond and everything, I guess maybe you guys already thought of it, but it just kind of occurred to me now. Like that's very much he's very much in a way like the Ned Stark of this season, right? He's, who was it? I'm sorry. Who who was it? Uh, Vaymond. Vaymond. Who gets his head chopped Oh over. yeah. Okay. What do you think of him as the Ned Stark of the well, season? Well, no, he did talk about people not being people's kids. The truth. Yeah, the like, truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. The truth, though. In the way, die. Yeah, and he got his head chopped. Yeah, I see where you're going. He's there. like a much more hot-headed <laughs> Ned Stark. You know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but Ned didn't really want no smoke with nobody. Nah, That's no, nah, he, he was more like the king. I think of him as the serious. Yeah. Claiming about it's it's different though the way I just think it's interesting the way the show's positioned us like differently yeah, yeah. like how in Game of Thrones you're like yeah Ned like it's probably is a bad idea but I hope it works out for you like <laughs> I mean partly because partly the bastards he's trying to depose yeah. Ned's yeah. trying to depose is Joffrey and we hate Joffrey whereas right. I think why why it's a little more complicated why we kind of root for the bastards because the we're, yeah. because they're they're actually cool. They're good, yeah. Right? And so, the way that they came about, saying. it's the way that they came about. Like, she, you know, she was trying to be kind to her husband, and, you know, it yeah. didn't work out, and they had a plan, and we were involved in that plan. I mean, right. we knew. And so those kids are, we're kind of like, no, those are her kids. If if she says they're her kids, and if he mm. says they're her kids, you know, we're going to love them. We don't mm. mistreat children. We mistreat Joffrey, but we don't mistreat children. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. I guess that, that was pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, yeah. No, well said. Well, great, great points, man. Johnny, man, what would you think about that? Uh, the dinner, dinner scene, man. Um, it was another one that touched me at the heartstrings again. You know, I'm seeing this guy, and he just wants to get his family. You know, can't we get? You know, can't we all get along? Moment. Um, and um, um, taking off the mask so that they can see him as made me, th- you know, think of Vader and uh, you know so many other um, uh, things. Uh, was swirling my head about family and about, you know, being at the table during Thanksgiving and, you know, good, good thoughts, you know, not, not uh, negative thoughts for sure, but more um, him. It, it was, it was kind of like his dying wish. Yeah. It was, it was 
Viserys' dying wish to see that his family uh, got along. And he did see it, and he was able to have some peace before he died. Of course, we know that it... Um, we know that it uh, unraveled as soon as he left the room, yeah. but uh, at least the old man got some peace and he got to, to see his family together. And he at least had the, the momentary illusion that everything's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he had the hope. He left yeah. with hope. Oh, I, I forgot. Mm-hmm. I love the part where Damon told the boys like, no, not now. What did he tell him? Yeah. No, not now. Damon walked him to the, walked up to him. Get... Like, yeah. yeah. He right. said, not now. No. Yeah. And because that come. wasn't going, that wasn't going to work out for him real well. <laughs> Already got a... his face slammed into the table. Like, sir, where are yeah. you going? You gonna get back up? But you gotta remember, it, the, uh, Eamon didn't knew not to press Damon though. He just he knew it. He looked like, at that, him. Yeah, he that was foreshadowing. Damon's been doing that a lot though. Damon's been looking at people and they've been backing down. And they yeah, he's, he's a good swordsman. Yeah, that yeah. Move. It's like did you, you seen my work earlier? You know, you <laughs> right? Y- y'all this. saw episode three. Y'all saw it. <laughs> They foreshadow yeah. that that encounter for the future, like because he looked, they oh, yeah. looked at each other. They look like and, and like, yeah. okay, something's gonna yeah. happen, and he's mm-hmm. like, well, we're gonna leave this for later, right? Right. They're like, I see you, youngin. I see you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, and, 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 and I want to go back to the to the when they were in the yard when um when um yeah. when, when uh, Amon uh, when Amon greeted the uh, his nephews his nephews yeah. yeah. sort out yeah. that, that was that was that was. That was <laughs> That was totally badass. So yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, when and Jason Luke don't have a chance, by the way. Are you yeah. here to are you here to train nephews or whatever? No, yeah, whatever it was. You're not. <laughs> yeah, Christian like, is uh, the only person they've aged well. Yeah. Chris, Christian has seen Christian I Cole? was like, oh, the beer helps. Cole. Yeah, yeah, the beer yeah. like they've aged him better than everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess got, in the royal family you can't handle kinda, facial hair because none of them do. I don't I know. I think about it. Like Christian and Damon and a few others. They were real light. The same the entire series to me. I call I call him the Paul Rudd of uh, Westeros. Yeah, like, <laughs> I feel like especially bad for like between the two brothers. Like Viserys just like deteriorates so much mm. every episode, and then he's got Damon, his brother, just just like doesn't age. Age like wine, yeah. <laughs> what was what was the sister? What's her name? Hermione? No, it's not Hermione. Elena. 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 But I would have started with an H Hermione. though. Hermione. Yeah. What was her yeah. pre- what was her premonition this time? It was a beast under the the board. What was it? She said something about a beast. The beast heard... on beneath the the board. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, okay. I don't know. I've, I've boar ever... like a pig. Like no, like a, I guess like a boar, like a like a floor. Oh, okay. board. Yeah, board. board. Yeah, board. Or... Board. Okay. Yeah, board. B o a r d. I don't yeah, know what keep that means, but her. we got to remember because she, yeah, she's, she's got a gift. Eye. She's yeah. got a gift, y'all. She loves yeah, bugs gift. and future. Last time it was spools of green and spools of black. Mm. Okay. You know, for okay. The threads. The dress. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. I uh, always like try to pay attention when she's saying something and then yeah. it's always like, I always like don't get it all. <laughs> and then and these little like, riddles, little riddles yeah. that she gives us. Uh, G, take us out, man, on this last one before we get to our final scenes here, man. what do you think about the dinner? Um, the dinner for me was probably my favorite part of the episode. Like the earlier part with Viserys, that was cool. Um, mm. but I think this was bec- this made it for me just because like the last the last scene was more about like his action, like him going all the way from his room to walking all the way up a throne. But this one was more like, okay, yeah, Viserys is a good guy at the end of the day, right? He's like he's just human. That's what he was trying to get across to everybody. And, you know, some people got it. Some people didn't. You know, Allison and uh, Renera took the time to, uh, you know, try to do it in the moment of just, you know, burying the hatchet. You know, I feel like Allison was more so, all right, since she did, I'm going to do it type thing. Y'all know I'm going to rock with her. But um, I think that and then, you know, seeing <laughs> how – Otto kept looking at Damon was hilarious too. Cause he mm-hmm. just you could tell he just hates this man. Anything like, he yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything he do, he just over there looking like mean mugging him. So um that was funny. And then I the, the biggest takeaway for me, other than uh Viserys, was the the his two sons, Amen and, and Aegon. They're two sides of not the same coin, but like like the human condition, you know, where uh Amen, at least when I'm I'm looking at it, he kind of like used, you know, his trauma and his like upbringing of not having a dad that's like, you know, s- super involved and, and can go out and teach them things and stuff like that. Like, yeah. you just see your, from the time you're born, you see your dad just die. Like, like 
painfully. So, you know, Eamon took it and ran with it and became a beast, right? But but Aegon, you know, took it and just went insular, you know, and now he has all the drinking problem and the way he's treating women and just like he's folding under pressure. So I think like their two demeanors, especially at the table, um, you know, when it came to their their nephews was very apparent because it's just like, dang, like Aegon, you can't just let nobody live like he even do nothing to you. All he did was pull up to the joint. They just announced what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Like, what, what, what's the issue? And then with, with, um, with Eamon, it was more so like that pig was just he couldn't they couldn't unsee it, you know. So when you call um, you guys are strong, you boys are strong, right? And I was waiting yeah, for, I was waiting for like when they put the pig down, like and they cover his face. I was waiting for him to be just looking at uh Luke. Mm-hmm. Like I thought that was gonna be the one. I thought he had like some sixth sense type stuff. Well, but, I guess too. Um, Luke did laugh, man. Why did he? Yeah, he did he laugh. Did he laugh. He didn't I'm have to laugh. To figure it out too. Why were you laughing about? He didn't the have pig? to do that yeah. because, of the, because well, that's that's going that was the when plot. they were making fun yeah, of him last the week. They gave him a pig instead of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pig. <laughs> yeah. So, so I like, guess when there kids, they kind of set it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, yeah, and then after that, should have, should have, yeah. Damon just, you know, showed us why he's Damon again. Yeah. And uh that was that was the dinner. I think it was nice. I didn't I wasn't really tripping off the um happy family time. Um I didn't know that they was married, the kids was married up until until that moment. Um that kind of went over my head and I they have think, kids too. Yeah, because remember the girl came in uh, and said, Yo, like, Oh, they dress the children, the- yeah got address the kids. Oh, I right. it. Good point. Ta- good point. Oh, said, I was thinking no, Rich Beauty, kids, she said yeah. that. I read it in the comments. Tasha said that. She was like, oh, the yeah. girl came yeah. in and was like, yeah. he has kids? Oh, my God. He has like two kids with his sister. Yeah. Like, it's like oh, at he's, least two. He's, oh, my he's pulling, God. He's pulling an Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's going, you know, he's having sex with the uh, with the maid. <laughs> with the maid, yeah. That was mm. terrible. Get to the job up. Yeah. That was terrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. So That's all I got for that. So goodness. Well said, guys. Well said. Well, wrapping this thing up, man, just the last uh, bit of, uh, you know, obviously we, we know the king died, and we can touch on that in a little bit. But I, I do want to – don't want to brush over. I'm going to start with you, Lion. Uh, Masseria. Mm-hmm. She's been in the back, man, this whole time – being called a whore and, and being Damon's side piece and slowly but surely becoming a, a big player in this show, man. But she's been doing things behind the scenes as we kind of wrap up the episode with her meeting with the same, uh, I don't know what we want to call her, handmaid or, or nurse or, or maid in general. She's been working with her this whole time. So, Lion, what, what do you think of this is me, man? Has she been obviously getting information from the Kings, you know, because she's so close to them? Uh, has she been, I don't know, has she been – poisoning him for years i don't know like where, where, where are you at with her plans and what she's been doing this whole time with her I, I you know i haven't thought i haven't put too much thought into what she's what her plans are what, what how she figures into the story yeah last yeah. last we saw like truly saw her she was aligned with damon she may right. be salty about how that ended up uh so she may be aligned with allison she might be an ally that that can provide insights on how damon operates yeah I don't think uh, Viserys was being poisoned though, because Viserys was just in a in a really bad, uh, bad place. Yeah, and if she was being poisoned, I think he would have gone much, much sooner. Mm-hmm. True. Or he could have been killing I him agree. slowly. I don't know. Who knows? She's doing some uh, line, like you said. Who, what it is that we don't know yet, uh, but she has her spies. She is the. You know, we've been talking about Iris, little finger. Yeah, Varys. Yeah, she's she's doing her things behind the scenes, and it might not come into fruition this season. I hope it does, but it mm. might be a season two or season three. Her the end game as far as where her character is going, but she's someone to keep an eye out for. Uh, Justin, wh- where are you at with her? A couple of weeks ago, we thought that she might have had some witchery. You know, she could be a red witch potentially. I mean, there's something to be said about her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, I saw Damon in his murdering cloak. Come on, someone's yeah, that's what I was to say. Yeah, that's the, yep, the, the hoodie of death. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I I will give it to the show. I know in the beginning of the show, the there was like a whole bunch of men were in the seats of power, but now there's two women on the council, which is the princess and the queen. So now she might be the master of whispers, just collecting little secrets here and there. People are just dropping down little little bits of information. She's just collecting them and buying her time to when to use them. So I think she's become a real strong player for uh, mostly for Damien. I, I I do mm. think she still loves him. I think she's gonna be like, yeah, you know, I'm stronger with you than against you. Mm. 
So I'm, I can't wait to see where her story goes. I'm Me excited too, for man. it. Ooh, she, she's something, man. She's a great actress, too. Um, I've seen her a couple, you know, um, was she a uh, devs just a couple years ago? She was great in that, and she was in uh, Ex Machina. She's a great actress, so I think you don't hire someone of her caliber just to have a throwaway uh, yeah. character. So she's she's definitely someone we should keep an eye out for for sure. Um, Eric, man, your thoughts on uh, Masseria and, and any and again, I know you know the I know you know the book, Eric. Is there something we should uh, be looking forward to with this character moving forward? Well, like I think I think I might have said this on a past stream, but. Uh... Yeah, I guess in the books, from what I remember, she did kind of, she was presented as like possibly like people thought she was a witch of sorts. But oh, again, gotcha. that book, as of I know I keep saying this, but uh, it is sort of like intentionally told possibly by some unreliable narrator. So it's right. hard to say right. whether <laughs> whether she was like had like some actual probably women in history were like kind of later like kind of turned by myth and legend into witches right. or something right i mean to be fair but this is game of thrones that uh, that is a thing in this world so maybe it's yeah. true maybe it's not um i mean she's moving up quickly from going from I, being a, a side piece to having her own yeah. the, spies, oh yeah, the, the big thing i'm just wondering is like <laughs> is she is she tied with Otto? because right. i don't think that was ever something that was said in the books but it mm. definitely could be something that no one knew about per se because because again Otto was I mean, that's what it seemed like, because last time we saw her, I think, was episode four. And in that one, that's the one where Otto, like, sends uh, spies after Rhaenyra and Damon, right? Yep, to spot. And, yep. Then, and then in that same episode, when Damon wakes up after after the brothel I'm night. little boy there. She's there, and there's the boy there. Yep. She's paying, I think, right? And um, so it was, so, I don't know, it kind of seemed like it was, like, tied to Otto then, right? Like, she was... Yeah. I don't know, like he was paying her to pay the kids or something. Maybe she has all these spies and he's kind of using her service, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, she's she's definitely going to be a big player. And uh, it would be interesting if, like you guys mentioned, if she actually is like, turns out to be a red priestess or something. Yeah, because we haven't really got a lot of supernatural elements of this this show. Yeah, I don't really know whether, because I... As far as we know, even in the whole Game of Thrones universe, is there is there really a different kind of witch than that? I mean, I think in Game of Thrones we saw in the Cersei flashback there was Maggie. Right, there was Edward, yep. But yeah. I don't know if we like really saw proof that I mean she did make the prophecy. So the prophecy, but yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. You know, fantasy elements in Game of Thrones are always kind of almost left to interpretation to some degree. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, yeah. or at least a lot of them are. But like one of the ones that we always saw, I mean, sure, we don't know all the meanings behind it even now, but like yeah, the red priests and priestesses, like, yeah, they weren't messing around. They were for real. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm curious if there even is a different kind of witch. So maybe, maybe that's just what we can assume she is. Right. Um, and and that, she... that, again, would be another element to tie kind of further into Game of Thrones and that whole prophecy and everything. Mm-hmm. So that could be... I, would, I wouldn't be shocked if, if that's uh, what she is. And uh, I don't know. I'm. Th- this might be, like, kind of slightly uh, curveball, but, like, I don't think it's even true because it seems like the rumors died. But did did you guys hear any of those rumors like a few weeks ago where that uh, about I, again I don't know if they were true. They seem to die out. But like mm-hmm. about oh and I, um the Melisandre like might show up in season two or something. Mm-hmm. She, I was uh, gonna, well, Melisandre is like around two hundred years old, and the show yeah. takes place about one hundred and seventy two cool. years yeah, before and, the show. So, and so it could line up. Like, yeah. not at all a thing in the book, but. But, I mean, again, they can add things and stuff, obviously, that, that weren't recorded in history or whatever. And right. and there was, I don't know, there were rumors. I guess more so the rumor was that Elizabeth Olsen was, like, rumored to be cast in season two. Oh. A lot of people were thinking oh, she'd be Melis- I'm a yeah. younger Melisandre. And I just thought that was hilarious. Like, oh, so she's going to be a different Scarlet Witch. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that was too. Uh, she even shot it down, which, it's I mean, listen, point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but honestly, it's too on the nose. I yeah. Kind of, that would be really cool though, because she even looks a lot like Carrie Van Houten, who played uh, True, Melisandre. who played Mother. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Eric, if that happened, bro, and I, and also what was the Henry Cavill uh, news too joining on, and, and people want him to be Aegon the Conqueror if they you know do a, like an anthology series. I would be here for it, man, but I think that's a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't no, know. We'll I, just, see. We'll uh, see. I, couldn't, I couldn't pass off that opportunity to bring. That they probably up. got the bread. That's do. fan casting. Yeah, yeah, definitely fan casting for sure, for sure. Um, Johnny, point, Eric, okay. I know you mentioned there was other priestess. I think 
uh Daenerys met one. She had a yeah Kinara. stone or like some kind of metal covering her face. Oh, in Essos, right. I think that was yeah, a different was like type she, of sorceress. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah also, yeah, yeah. the storyline from the show that 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 she plays a bigger role in the books. Though. Yeah, okay. she did. But I know it, she, she did pop up. So yeah, there are other priestess and other magics out there. Okay, yeah, that's, the, that's a good... um, the uh, uh, Drago, faceless people, the girl, the the, the Drago. Yeah. When, uh, she was a witch too, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe oh, yeah. I'm the one that one. of what I'm magic mm -hmm. witches, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, I get what you guys mean. Um, yeah. No, I know there's definitely different sources of supernatural stuff yeah. in the world. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just I just mean strictly like which which is the right, which yeah. not. Um, which we trying to see a faceless man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 Johnny um, man, yeah, no, hope it's going. Definitely ahead. just I'm just yeah, I'm definitely I'm still just kind of waiting to see where things go with uh with um Miss Area and and I know from the trailer it looked like I can't remember if I think she might be involved in uh, something that I saw in the trailer for next week from the books that I remember that's uh, going to be bad. Mm. Next week. I love it. It's going to be bad. That's a uh, delivery. It's quite, quite specific. Or not, yeah. but, but, but whatever, whether she is or not, like bad stuff's happening next week. I mean, you guys probably guessed that, though. I mean, in that ultimate true. episode, we know Game of Thrones never disappoints on those ninth episodes. I do so, know yeah. what you're talking about, Eric, and it's vice versa. She's uh, she's a part of the retaliation. If I oh, remember correctly, oh, what you're talking about. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that might be. That I might love be this. Case, yeah. I love these book readers throwing uh, inside knowledge. I love it. I love it, guys. Mac, man, what, what do you feel about uh, Malisa I'm sorry, Malisandra? Um, um, Saria. Uh, um, yeah, with Nathan. her. I, if I'm being 100% honest, guys, I am not looking forward to that accent. I do. Oh, it it, it doesn't. It's it. Yeah, I, I can't it's been 12 even. Years, maybe she's improved on accent. You know, I don't like it. Since we've seen her. It really like bugs me, and which yeah. is not something that would bug me. But I'm not looking forward to that at all. It's like, oh, I don't like that. Too hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the last that I remember of her is saving Damon, you know, from being out on the streets after that that wild night. And I was like, I don't know what the motive was behind that because I want to say she, I don't know if she charged him or if she paid the little boy. I don't know. But I remember her kind of being the savior to Damon. So I was like, is she mad at Damon? Did he leave her? How does she feel? But now she's got this, she's got information. It seems like that's her currency. Like she's got mm -hmm. all the secrets. She is the little finger in my opinion too. Mm -hmm. So, and we saw that she was working with Otto. So Otto is in communication with her in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then we know that the, the handmaiden came to her mm -hmm. in a cloak. So I'm like, I don't know what we, um, I'm not yeah, looking cloak. forward to it. Yeah. And that, and that coat, I'm not really looking forward to her doing whatever it is she's going to do but she's getting ready to do something because it was something. they because they brought her to me they brought her to me for a reason so yeah, yeah. i don't know but i'm not looking forward to it actually i'm like okay. <laughs> i'm here for I'm, I'm here for all the drama and all the intrigue uh johnny where you at with it man uh, i am here for it um also um i'm looking forward to seeing what they what they do with the character mm -hmm. um she is a superb actress and i do i remember her from devs oh, devs, show, De devs is what it. devs is what first brought me to this channel Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, full so, circle, um, man. Yeah, so um, mm. I, I look forward to what she's doing, and I haven't read the books. I don't have anything against people who've read the books, but um, I love it when they frustrate the book readers. Yeah, <laughs> going? yeah, yeah. I love same. it when they like you know yeah. change a little tiny thing because then they yeah. don't. Then then you guys keep don't you know everything. Keep you guessing. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> you know, you don't know everything. You, you know that they're going to change something, but like, yeah. let's not change it too much. But let's you know have something that's uh, that's consistent with you know television in in 2022 and um, yeah I'm I'm looking forward to see what they do with, the, with this character um, because she's been kind of like lurking in the background for the last six years <laughs> and uh, she might not have um, How she you might, doing? She might right. not have um, she might not be with uh, Otto anymore because he was gone. Right, so he was in my yeah, which is so interesting. I wonder what he was doing for those amount yeah, of years. So she he wasn't might be hand. doing her own thing now. She might be running her own uh, op operation. Right. Hmm. G, where you at with it, man? Um, I I would have to agree. I don't think I have to agree with uh what somebody said in the comments. I don't think she's really on anybody else's side. Like, mm. I think mm. like because you could look at 
you know, even with the whole brothel situation with Rhaenyra and Damon, you can look at that at, at two different sides. Like, yes, she told the she told Otto what happened, right? But we don't know necessarily know if like that was gonna be the plan from the start or how involved is Damon in the planning of that? Like, was Damon really just there to be with Rhaenyra, or is he tr also just trying to like uh you know mess with her status to end up being with her eventually you know what i'm saying so it's i'm more excited just to see what she has created more so than like what she's going to do because i just don't know what what she has planned but you know to to go from you know working to owning the place like you had to do something to get to that point um but as far as like what you know I, i'm kind of indifferent i don't really got too many feels because the scene wasn't really that long either so yeah, like once i saw it wasn't yet. damon there i was like oh she got spies in the castle okay bet yeah and just move on like that's kind of kind of how i took it gotcha gotcha and shout out to skylar man this man hasn't even watched the episode but watching us for two and a half hours talking about the episode <laughs> uh shout out to skylar man listen we we end the episode with the king dying y'all and telling one last breath to his wife um which I think it was, uh, he was kind of out of his mind at that point, if I'm be honest with mm -hmm. y'all. But he wants Aegon on the throne, as uh, Allison interprets it. Uh, and he <laughs> brings up Aegon Targaryen uniting the kingdoms. We obviously can tie that into the Game of Thrones and, and, yep. and Jon Snow and everything that went down there. But final thoughts, guys, round, ta round table style with you, G, your thoughts on this last moment and, and Allison making amends with her once sister and now getting her son, who she knows does not need to be on the throne. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna take the final promise from her husband to get get their son on that throne. I mean, I think she's just grasping at straws at this point. Obviously, she doesn't know the the the, um, the lore. Yeah. yeah. So at that point, at that point, she's the only one that can witness to what he was saying. What he said, yeah. Other than like Rhaenyra knowing exactly what it is, what and who he, knows yeah. if she's gonna you know expose the whole truth. Um, but it just it just makes for good TV at this point because you know. We always was wondering, like, okay, what is he going to leave behind? Like, what is the mess that he's going to leave behind? And he just made things messier, right? So, that sucks. yeah. If if the dinner wasn't enough, a damn you know? dagger, man, a cat's paw dagger. Yeah, and there was like a rat somewhere. I see another rat. rat. Did I miss a rat? Yeah, it, it was, was a... it was on the the model of Valyria. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. So dark it was, I had a I had to rewind coming. it back, but yeah. Um, I think it was sad like that he was just going delusional, you know, yeah. like when he was talking and then when he was just like enough, I was like, yeah. oh, I was like my heart. I was like, no, I was yeah. like, no, nah, but you got to go because um, it's just like, you know, he finally did the big thing and brought everybody together, together. Yeah, um, just to break them up. <laughs> yeah. And it just it just shows like, man, too many, too many Aegons, too many Viserys, uh, <laughs> too many of the same name. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna say something, you gotta be specific. So, right. um, because he, I don't even think he knew Allison was even there. Honestly, yeah, because like, he could been, been talking. To, he he talk said to goodbye. Anybody. My did he say goodbye, my love? Was he talking about uh, Emma in that moment? You think? I, so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do. Poor Allison. Uh, yeah. God damn it. But she name? is. She's grasping at straws at this point, anyway. So mm. she's gonna take whatever she can get yeah. to, you know make it so that things go her way essentially she knows Aegon is not prepared for that throne man nah man nah, Johnny, he's not man. the one he's not he is not Johnny your thoughts on this final scene man um Allison basically got what she wanted out of uh her her husband's dying declaration um I just watched uh uh, Daredevil season three, the uh, agent Nadine had a dying declaration too, but um, I, uh, yeah, yeah. she, yeah, she had, she got what she wanted out of that dying declaration. And um, he wasn't even talking about that. He was talking about the prophecy. <laughs> and now she, she, she thinks that she, she, she's empowered now because this is what my husband wanted. He wanted Aegon to, you know, so this is going to give her, a little more ammunition you know in, in, in her own mind and that this is what no no this is what Viserys wanted he told me as he was dying that Aegon is he wants Aegon on the throne even though he wasn't uh he he wasn't talking to uh um uh 
about that. And yeah, um, um, as uh, as pointed out in the chat, he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. Uh, That's what I thought. And, yeah, and uh, he was obviously he wasn't, but now this is going to like mess things up even worse. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, as as if it couldn't get any worse, right? Now. Right. I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah. Sets up for a good ending to the show. Mm-hmm. For sure. I, it, it, man, it's so that's funny. You At least it, season, I mean. it feels like a season finale, actually, the way uh, yeah. it was posed. But we still got two episodes, thankfully. Right. Um, Eric, where you at, man? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was just this whole scene. Honestly, I was just like, I was just nervous. Like, okay, when's it gonna cut to black? I was like, okay, I know this must be the last scene, and like. I was like, is it, is he still gonna? Are they still gonna just kind of leave us hanging? Like, I thought, I really thought that shot of the dagger it was gonna cut to black, but then kept going. And uh, yeah, I guess yeah, this would have been. I know Johnny mentioned he had subtitles on, and yeah, probably. I think I might have got a bit more if uh, <laughs> if I did, because uh, yeah, I I mostly just heard him say Aegon a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I guess I'm curious. Like, obviously, yeah, he's probably talking about. Jon Snow or something but I mean like I'm curious and like you guys are probably right with uh, what Allison's going to do and we saw a bit in the trailer but like I can't remember in the trailer did she say like my son Aegon is who he wants on the throne or did she, did she just, was she honest and just said like, hey, Aegon who else she going to talk about she, he was sure. reciting the, the song of ice and fire prophecy uh, yeah. piece by piece that's where, where the confusion happened mm-hmm yeah, so I'm just wondering though, is is uh, so is that I I guess that yeah, that's gonna is she gonna is Allison gonna like consider the possibility he means possibly um, what's it called uh like Rhaenyra's latest son or probably not I'm guessing. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would. That would be a leap for her to be like, oh, she's gonna yeah. my Aegon for another for new Aegon. Yeah, I think she would definitely take her son first. Yeah. So I mean, um, yeah. But as far as like, yeah, the bat being the king's last scene, yeah, it was. It was sad. It was poetic. It was kind of exactly what it needed to be. Um, honestly, when the episode ended, I was still kind of like, "Okay, is he dead?" <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right. But, oh, not yeah. yet. And then, uh, no so episode in Yeah, I was just waiting for the the preview, and then the preview makes it very clear. Auto and the first scene in the preview is like the king's dead. So yeah, you heard someone in the background uh, saying, "Thank God." Yeah, I was Finally. expecting. I was expecting a big exhale, like that was gonna be like the last real breath. But like yeah. it wouldn't. It was real yeah, quiet. Kind of, kind of kept talking a bit over the credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, this whole episode. I was still skeptical until again, until I got confirmation by the trailer. But now that I got confirmation, yeah, like this whole episode was. Obviously, that's why he was so front and center in this episode. This was his last hurrah. That's why he had all those awesome moments. And, uh, yeah, I think he went out. I think he went out well, but I still feel terrible for him because every single bit of his life that we've seen is a tragedy. And even like you guys said, even when he thinks he's kind of set things right, he's actually possibly just made things worse with his final words. His final words. It's, uh, yeah, true, true Game of Thrones fashion. So, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Justin, man, where you at with it, man? Hey, this was a uh, it was a heart wrencher. I, I I know when he was talking to Allison, I was like, the longer is it gonna go on, the more worse it's gonna get. Like he's gonna say something, so it's gonna be misinterpreted. And sure enough, that's what happened. Um, I got a little bit of touch of um, what's the name of that movie where the guy's dying? He says Rosebud. Oh, Citizen Kane. Citizen Citizen Kane. Kane. Yeah, I got a little bit of that. I mean, he's all like dying. The last breath is. My yeah. love. I thought he would say like something maybe towards nice. the end, like yeah. White Walker or like something like that. White Walker. <laughs> but um Arya Stark. Doing? Yeah, the stars. Uh, then um it, it really was, you know, I, I kind of got a little bit like she really did kind of love him, or like maybe that's in a weird kind of way that was his last person was her. Mm-hmm. And even at that, she she wasn't the one he he really loved. He, he either loved his real wife. Yeah. Or his daughter, and she's still like, damn, I'm, I'm the only one here, and I still don't get no respect. Mm. So that kind of sucked. Yeah. And uh, you know, she she knew she she heard what she wanted to hear. She heard her yep. son's name. Mm-hmm. Unite the realm. I'm I'm running Damn with it. Names, man. And and she was like, Hey, I got what I needed. I'll let you sleep. And she took off. Yeah, she said, What's <laughs> oh, yep, I, yep, I heard you heard you loud. Heard you loud. I, I will it. take care of the rest. And this and, he's, uh, he's Aegon the second. He could have said, "Hey, you know, yeah, throw a number in there or something." Yeah, 
Or what was the name of that prince I was promised? Damn it. Uh, the name of the prince. It, it, they always say it. Aegon. Oh, Azor Ahai. Azor, Azor, yeah, it would be like on that prince yeah, yeah. Azor Ahai. Yeah. That would be pretty cool too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it, it was a uh, Paddy Connacy, man. He really did good. He sold. He sold that death yep. scene. Like, damn, man, this is the last breath. He's. I thought he was still talking to Renera because of that one time she well, she went in earlier during the rain, yep. asking for his help. For his help. So yep. I kind of thought that's what it was. Connecting it, yeah. And that just was some uh, random rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Man, he he really sold it, and uh, unfortunately, once again, he created more problems than he solved. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, Lion, man, your thoughts on this final scene, my man. So at the end, I, I did feel that he was hallucinating. I, I think he was, he felt that he was talking to Rhaenyra because he lost his yep. daughter. Yep. He thought mm-hmm. he was talking to Rhaenyra. He like remembered the prophecy and then he kind of slurped her out like Aegon, Prince, Prince, and uh, only you can do it. Alison, who already had a change of heart, she was ready to drop everything. She was. She, she was ready to just, you know, you know make peace with uh, Rhaenyra. She took it that as smart. She called queen. Yeah, Put that batter in her back. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. took it that as marching orders, and she's running yep. with it. And this yeah. auto is gonna be the enabler. It's gonna <laughs> everything yeah. out. <laughs> so that's that's what's happening in this episode. It's his dying can't, wish. Can't put hey. that cat back in the bag. Yeah, mm-hmm. he be yeah. giving Otto too much credit, man. He don't be doing that for real. Uh, <laughs> he just be looking. Auto, watch Otto work next episode. He's gonna be working overtime. He's gonna <laughs> earn his yeah. Face. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point g because i know a lot of people gave credit to littlefinger about the game of thrones yeah. and i don't think he was that good he didn't expect yeah. john free to do what he did right so i think you give him a little credit yeah he did some stuff and then it, it would just been crazy he was like no i didn't mean for any of this to happen i was just trying to right. take out some people yeah so i think yeah. Otto was the same way he's like hey i'm using it to my ability and then all of a sudden people start doing their own things because he wasn't there mm. to to oversee it because they banished him yeah. And it just took off on him. And now he's just trying we, to catch up or at very least make sure his family's alive. Think about yeah. it. If Otto didn't have that conversation with Allison before he was kicked out of his bed. Yeah, yeah. The, exactly. No, no, this stuff happens. No, but true. Allison would just yeah. be siding with Rhaenyra and, and everything yeah. would be protecting her friend. Yeah. But that that was the one conversation. We was privy to more conversations that yeah, like I, that's the difference between this and, and Game of Thrones. Game of like in Game of Thrones, we followed those characters. Saw that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So like we're giving credit to Otto for a lot of stuff that like you know he As definitely it, will have yeah. a hand in clearly yeah but you yeah. know it's still it, hey, don't don't have have he was even there <laughs> exactly so mm-hmm. the other hand that's one thing I noticed he didn't yeah. do a good job either mm-hmm. <laughs> these hands Mac take us out take us out where you where you at with this final scene you know I liked watching him die. This is my kind of gore. Like, my <laughs> no, kind of like this is my kind of horror and goriness. And when I was like, oh yeah, he he did a in great context, job. Y'all, in context, yeah, 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 he did a great job, and the makeup was amazing. And, you know, yeah. everything it just looked good. I was like, wow, look at this. Um, just the exact the same thing. We we sounds like we are finally all on the same page. Yeah, Allison just that you know she just heard what she wanted to hear, and then ran yeah. with it. And like, mm-hmm. uh oh. I mean, I will not blame you guys. Will not blame you guys. Will not blame my king for this last sentence. Like he was on his deathbed, guys. Like yeah. let him live. He's looping. Let him. Yeah. Let him. <laughs> let him live. <laughs> let him live. Let him live. Let him go out how he wants. Like yeah. eh, eh. Um, yeah. That's it. There's nothing really here. I mean, he died. It was a, you know, it was a death that we all saw coming. He yeah, lasted yeah. a couple more episodes than I anticipated. <laughs> he is still <laughs> my king. He is money on that. still yeah. my king. Um, you know, it is what it is. And now look what now look. Oh, Allison. I am curious to see what happens because right now I said she was like, I'll come back on Dragon Bay. So yeah. what now she can't land? Yeah, she, she ain't can't, going nowhere. Right now. Yeah. What, All right. What's getting ready to happen? And she's pregnant too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, we got another yeah. baby on the way. Another what is what's, what's this one gonna be called? Uh, uh Aegon. Cor- Corlys, Lenor, uh, Day Day. It's gonna Day-Day. be Day Day. Damon. D- D- Damon Jr. Damon Jr. There you go, Damon Jr. I'll take it. It's gonna be something with an East. East. It's gonna be someone with an Ain. You think it's gonna be a girl? I think it's gonna be another boy. No, they really got it's a squad girl, though. They do. They do. They got a squad. They about to have like nine youngins. But if they were stronger, it's not a strong squad. They right. just yeah. got they need to do better. Need to go you know what? Them, I take man. that back. If they all have dragons, that changes things. If those boys can fly their dragons worth yeah. anything, yeah. that changes it for me. Actually, that's true. 
They so they ain't yeah, never picked up the sword though. Nah, whenever, never. The way they were never. Looking at the sword. They don't like, have oh. no hands. They don't have anything. I'm like, oh, you guys, no. but you got heart. You know, <laughs> you got heart. Got heart. heart but heart. you don't have hands at all. Like, yeah. ooh. It's a little dragon. So Vagar is a real dragon. Vagar is, Vagar is, is a concern. The diesel it's a problem. Shack. It's a problem. Because what do you do against a dragon? Yeah, and he don't even look like a typical one. That's how you know he's tough too. Like, yeah, look like a dinosaur. That's the whole problem. Whole problem. Whole problem. It's, it's problem. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, man, almost three hours. This is a, a, a three episodes worth of conversations that this episode gave us. So, goodness <laughs> gracious, what is next week going to offer? Prepare for a six hour stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no. um, man, this was awesome. This was, I, I, I really mean this. Uh, Sundays are always looking forward to this day, uh, not only because the show is fantastic, but talking to you all you guys make it awesome and I, I couldn't thank you enough for spending your sunday nights with me uh for everyone on the panel of course and everyone in the chat it means means the world i really appreciate it uh so wrapping this up because this um this dog has been looking at me like dude i am about to tear this house up if you don't take me outside um so i'm, I'm gonna wrap this up and i want to start with you uh g uh Again, man, I appreciate you. Hope to see you next week. Hope you have a fantastic week, man. But why don't you let the people know where they can find you and your next review, reaction. Uh, where can the people find you, man? Yeah, so uh, you can find my content at Janato Reviews on everything. Um, the latest thing I'm going to be working on is my Amsterdam review. And then also um, the podcast. So the podcast is with the Wine Geek Show. You can just search that up as well. And you can be able to find that where we cover uh, this week. It'll most likely be House of the Dragons, but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna see the Halloween the, the Halloween yes. movie, whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah, I'm not excited for it, but I'm gonna just do it just because it's like I gotta get one in, you know. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm just gonna be dropping content, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome man. Um, so but hold on, did you this your first Halloween ever? Like you never seen any of the my uh, Halloween? I watch YouTube videos. Wow, that's my, never, that's I was scared, guy. man. I was scared. That's my guy. Michael's my favorite seen, slasher of all time, man. Nineteen seventy yeah, Halloween is my favorite Halloween. movie. If yeah. I want to get into these reviews, I gotta watch, start watching everything. So I'm gonna take my time though. I'm gonna take nice. my time. Nice man. <laughs> Nice. Well, you shout out niche, to G. You can niche down, G. You don't have to do it. You can niche down with the light and fluffy. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But it, it just sounds good when you say, I seen this and I seen that. You know, I just want to be able to reference <laughs> I just started. I don't got to like it. You know, I just want right. to be able to have that you know, in the seen, back of yeah. my brain because I'm not going to sure. be thinking about it after that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to you, man. Paul, tossing it over to you, Johnny. Where can people find you, my man? Uh, you can find me at uh, my. Uh, Twitter, Johnny Pappas, uh, also Johnny Pappas writes on, on Facebook and uh, my, um, my uh, YouTube channel, you can access from here. Uh, I've got some of my short films and soon to come uh, quantum entangled. Yes, 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 yes. So that that's uh, launching this week. Awesome. I'm, I, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Um, Eric, man, where, where can people find you, my friend? Uh, yeah. So you can, you can find me at uh, Eric Thorpe reviews and, uh, yeah, it's been it's been really awesome talking with you guys. I'm glad I got on tonight, and uh, I hate to say it, but I, I do. I'm uh, this is most likely going to be the last one I'll be on the panel for, just because uh, I've got uh, people most likely coming over for for uh, watch yeah. parties. I guess the yeah. next two weeks, so I probably uh, might only I might show up. I'll try to be in the chat though with them, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I got to talk with you guys one more time though, like this, and uh, yeah. Shout out to Eric, man. I appreciate you, man. And, uh, you know, you joining us is always awesome, man. So shout out to you, brother. Uh, Mac, Mac and Mac, where can people find you? You guys can find me this weekend at a quilt convention. Um, I usually go live like the same way people go live at, at Comic-Con and that. I do the same thing for quilt conventions. And no, they're not just old granny style quilts. They're super dope, super modern. You might even find some fandom quilts in there. So come on and hang out with me this weekend on Saturday. I'll be live probably around noon Pacific Standard Time. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, who we got next? My man, Lion. What's uh, what, what do you and your partner got lined up this week, man? Marvel content, Star Wars. What, what, what we got, man? What we got this week? So uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me on your platform. I appreciate uh, all the work you do. Man. You put some great content. Uh, this week, uh, we are going to be doing a couple of uh, videos just about the House of the Dragon uh lore behind it and the sunday we have our, our live stream as well uh we're prepping uh for a one-year anniversary at the end of the month so we're working towards that 
Uh, you can find our channels on Structure Media. You can find me on Twitter at this is Lion 809 I also do some gaming content on the side as well. So that's all I have. So you can find me. Uh, and, and like I tell all my guests, Lion, man, you're more than welcome to, to join on any future conversations, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, um, Halloween, uh, DC, Marvel, you name it, man. You, you brought a lot of great stuff to the, to the, to the conversation. I appreciate, appreciate you, it. and I hope uh, people check out the wonderful content you have lined up for them. Um, Thank you. So I appreciate you. My man, Justin, coming in, showing some love and dropping some, some nuggets of, of great knowledge, my friend. I know you say you don't have the – the, the content out there for people to, to, to take in, but just still pitch yourself, plug yourself, let them know where they can find your awesome stuff, man. Yeah, uh, thanks, Elliot. Uh, like I said before, guys, I'm a commenter, not a creator, but uh, I'm a, I am on TikTok, so you might, if you see something that says Ionic Charge, that's me. Uh, I'll probably be on here stuff with the, again with Elliot now that I'm watching House of the Dragon. Uh, I've been missing out the She-Hulk with him, but I'll try to get on with that too. But this was fun, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah, definitely, uh, Justin. We'll love to see you back next week, my friend. Um, as far as this week, guys, man, we, we it's Halloween. Gee, this is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> so we got some more horror to talk about this week, which will be Halloween uh, ends. Again, Michael's my guy, even though his films are very um, lackluster. And the last one, Halloween Kills, was not that good. But neither here nor there. Laurie Strode, favorite final girl versus Michael. Final time final time and quotations we'll see about that but uh very excited to, to talk about that with you all later this week um various other you know c finales this week uh she hulk's finales this week uh man there's so Bring much the going power. on this week For, i'm eric i'm, I'm like <laughs> seven episodes behind on that man but i'm gonna probably binge it once it's over but uh-huh this has been fantastic. You all are awesome again i hope you all have a great week stay safe out there um you know if you see a you know, a guy by the name of um, Aegon, you might want to go the other way. Uh, or if you see a guy with an eye patch, you might need to watch out. But uh, this has been awesome, guys. Uh, and I hope, again, you guys are fantastic. Like, share, comment. And by the time this video is completely uploaded, every single one of these faces will be in the description as far as their content and where you can find them. So on that note, you all are great. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.